I have nothing. I can't hear. I have nothing. I got nothing. All right, I'll try to figure that out. JP, can you hear me? Can you hear anybody else? Can you, can hear, you me, hear me, JP? JP? All right, so we can't hear each other, so we're going to work on that. You guys take your ears off a second. You guys do that, and I'll work on that. Good morning, everybody. Uh, let me pull my phone off. Uh, you know, Hunter, with a uh, with that with no football, uh, NFL football, and, and really no football this week other than the Pro Bowl festivities, uh, we usually don't have a lot of things to talk about. But Terry, it's been we've had, Hunter and I have had seven shows since the last time we've heard your side of the stories per se. Uh, so we got a lot of things to kind of touch on today. I like we to touch on my sides of the stories. Right. We've got yeah. We've got NFL quarterback carousel to talk about. Drew Pearson. Uh, yeah. Championship from the NCAA. Carolina. Odell, Odell Beckham paying players. Yeah. Carolina uh, being in last place. Which Carolina? Uh, UNC. Kansas. The Kansas fight. We got to talk about oh, that. Oh lordy, that's terrible. Hornets, all stars, uh, snubs, and more with that. Uh, duck contest. Uh, golf getting kicked off. <clears throat> tennis. Your Terry's up early watching tennis this I morning. Was. Uh, him and JP were up watching tennis early this morning, getting ready for Saturday yeah. sports talk. I like to talk about that. Was y'all texting back and forth? Huh? Was you and JP texting uh, back and no, forth? No, I was just watching it, and I was just... Zion <laughs> Williamson has to be on that yeah. list somewhere. I'm getting to it, Tom. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Baseball. Hall of Fame. Voting. Cheating. No. Wrong answer. No, wrong what answer? There's a couple of right answers and a couple of wrong answers in that. Hall of Fame voting. I just made statements, and Terry told me wrong answer. Yeah, that's I said exactly. Hall of Fame, and I said, uh, I, I said cheating, and Terry said wrong. All right, and then and then Tom wants to talk Zion Williamson. Any other news and notes between you guys, uh, real quick, before we uh, get moving? Uh, I got a special. We got some trivia coming up. We're going to give away some Hornets basketball tickets today, guys. Uh, so, Hunter, kind of want to <clears throat> wrap up kind of what we've all, a little bit of that uh, that we went for the last seven days. You may have been rambling, it feels like, without uh, without hearing from Terry. Uh, Terry, any specific subject that, that just grinds your gears and got you going this weekend uh, to get started or anything? Yeah, I, I'm going to touch on a couple. And the first one is, and, and y'all can, I don't know whether any of y'all got up watching the Australian Open this morning, but Kyra uh. from Australia was playing. And, you know, when I first turned it on, they're into, like, the start of the second set. And I started pulling for the young man. I did not really care who really won it because I'm not <laughs> well neither one of them's fan but I started pulling for the young man I'm like man this guy's playing hard he's playing for this other guy and he got a two games to none lead and then in the third set it kind of everything started changing he tried a trick shot one time and when he did that I quit pulling for him because the very next play after that trick shot he kind of falls and stumbles and he cuts his little next to his little pinky finger and he goes off like a two-year-old baby to the umpire and everything. And I'm sitting there like, young man, what are you doing? I mean, he's not cursing at the umpire, but he's putting him down the road like, can you not see? Do I need to give you glasses and all this stuff? And and I'm like, come on, young man. At that point in time, I quit pulling for him. <laughs> yeah. I switched. Well... Well, I'm going to tell you, that made me so mad. I'm like, I was pulling for the young man, did not care whether he won or lost, but I quit pulling for him, and I hope the other guy lost. I left, and it was one-to-one in the fifth when I finally left this morning. I don't know whether he won or lost. But it was the, He was the 23rd seed. The other guy he's playing was the 16th. So I do not know what his name was. Well, so well, I'm glad you both are reporting accuracies and 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 all the details of of the of the event. One guy you don't like and can't remember his name. Yeah, God, uh, I started to look pulling for him at Terry. the end. Though I did, I oh. started pulling for him. Well, I'm glad you guys got up and watched <laughs> tennis this morning. Uh, Well, this guy went crazy over a little cut next to his little pinky. And he was he even went and got the towel, was showing him the blood on the towel and stuff like this. And uh, Even the one, the announcers, the uh, McEnroe and them was on there, 
Yeah, and they, well, they was even on there going, there's no way that guy can see that towel to see that there's blood on that towel, you know, and they were kind of like, eh, he kind of went a little bit overboard here. But after he tried that trick shot, and I did not like that. I'm like, you're in the match, you're playing, and he did not have to do that, but he tried it and he missed it, and it ended up costing him that set, you know, so I hope he lost. Well, I think you see a lot of that at all, in all different sports. There's just too much whining. I mean, you watch an NBA game, they whine the whole time. I mean, it's just, after a while, I just get tired of it. You watch a football game, they're whining after every every pass, every player's pass interference. And then it just when gets you, old. When you start complaining, Tom, you know, as much as I yeah. do, when you start complaining to a ref about your or an umpire or, you know, anything, about what the call was and we're blaming you because we lost, there's a problem. Yeah. You know, I mean, how many plays, yeah, are in this game that you would have made a difference if you'd have did this or did that? Don't ever come and tell me I'm going to blame the ref because I lost. Yeah. I mean, if you've never ref, then I understand you might be able to do that. But if you ever do it one time, you'll understand there are plays that you might not see in basketball that happen, you know. Well, there's a lot of that out there, and I I just think it's top down to people see it on TV, and it comes down through the lower levels, so – I don't know. It just gets old. I want to turn it off when I watch a guy start complaining. I mean, I, I, that was me. I mean, uh, the 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 young the young guy for uh, Dallas Luca who's out there playing. I mean, it seems like he's crying after every call. He's crying. It's like, man, what are you crying for? Every play. It just gets old. Oh, he kind of reminds me of LeBron. LeBron cries every foul he yeah. makes. Yeah, you uh, know, just crying all the time. It's like, ah, eh, you know. We all say this or that about the refs, but just constant crying just kind of it disrupts the game. It you know, does. it's it's nobody wants to watch that. But and I'm gonna know. go to my second thing that I wanted to discuss, and that was the Kansas City, Kansas State brawl. Oh, Here, I'm gonna give you my opinion on this. Bill Self and them sat down and they decided that we're gonna suspend what's the name Sarus, I think it was the young yeah. guy's name, for 12 games. Great job, guys. 12 games is the end of the regular season. So he comes back for the playoffs. Yeah. So he'll be there for your tournament. He'll be there for the NCAA tournament. And as people say, well, well, Terry, that's kind of, you know, what you No, a guy picks up a chair, getting ready to hit somebody with it, goes into the stands. Bill Self, and I understand, and I'm so tired of this. Even Mike Krzyzewski, I'll tell him the same thing. When he did Allen like that for one game, he suspended him for tripping people, and he did it multiple times. But in this, you've got to set an example, and if you're not willing to set an example with your own players, I mean, this is what Bill Self did. Okay, we're going to be good. We're going to make the NCAA because we'll bring you back for the tournament if we're in trouble, so that way we can make it anyway. But I do not like that. They suspended 12 games, <coughs> rest of the regular season, I don't see Kansas losing. I mean, you're talking about your conference. They're probably going to go eight and four, maybe over the next twelve, right? Even without him. So, and then he comes back. Okay, we're still good. Now, if you'd go zero and twelve, uh, you might be stuck on winning your tournament to get in. But right. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, you know, at the end, it was just a, a weird way to end the game. You know, when you're when somebody's up big, just dribble the ball out. Why is somebody trying to go down there and dunk? Another guy's trying to go down there and ball. Well, the other I mean, guy's still got... trying to score, and he yeah. steals it. Even so what? So he goes down and lays it in. He wasn't going to dunk it. Right, yeah. The guy was yeah. going to lay it in. Yeah, I mean, it's just You're kinda... up by 20. Yeah. I mean, to, to, to me, it's just like I've seen that in high school. Like, the game's over five or six seconds, and then somebody's trying to get a dunk in a meaningless game, or somebody's yeah. trying to get a big block in a meaningless game. Just dribble it out. It really doesn't mean anything. At that point in the game, it doesn't matter if you dunk or you have a, some tremendous block. Whatever. Just dribble the ball out and get the heck out of there, win or lose. And so yeah. you block it, and then you go stand over him. That's stupid. That's what started it. That's was stupid. The, uh, you know? This, that's probably what started was the standing over. I don't have a problem with the steal. Uh, if you don't want the ball stolen, pass it or dribble better. Uh, I don't have a problem with the layup attempt. I don't have a problem with the block. It was after the block where he stood over him and that started it. But, Terry, I will say this. He didn't hit anybody with that chair. He laid it down. He picked Ooh. it up and moved it over about five feet and laid it down. Good Hunter, job, did he not? He didn't hit anybody with it. He, he let go of it. Nobody less. took it out of his hands. You had All he did was you pick it up, it up and lay it down. What are you down. doing, showing you're some bad man <laughs> picking up a chair? Yeah, he just moved it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> hey, the best video of it was when they put JR uh, from uh, 
WWE over the top of it, saying, "Oh my God, stop the match!" <laughs> <laughs> that's the best video on the internet. Of I mean, the only the thing up. that Sarouche could have done was go down, block the shot, and he, even after that, I mean, even if he let the guy lay it in, and the guy's like so pumped. I mean, okay, now you get beat by eighteen. Yeah, I just didn't. Understand. I mean, you know, my whole deal. I'd turn around and just pointed at the scoreboard and walked off. Yeah, I. I it, it was just a bizarre <laughs> sequence of events. I mean, it was just. At that point, I think it was like five seconds left, three seconds yes. left in the game. There was no time hardly There was no time left. And, and they made, the rest made him come back out and shoot the free throw. Well, I think <laughs> everyone that come off the bench definitely should be suspended in somewhat. Like, who's the guy in the, in the college shirt? One guy shirt? got 12, one guy got Who's the guy in the college Kansas. shirt for uh, fighting with Kansas State? Like, like who's he? Yeah. Like, what, what was he doing? Fight? Was he a player? Uh, do you know, Hunter, who that was? What Was no, it a player no on the idea. bench? Um, I've got no idea. It surely it wasn't a fan, or, or sh- I'm guessing it was a player that was on the bench. But was he up there, even off the bench? He should have been sitting down at the end of the bench. And so, um, I mean, yeah, Terry, you don't want want that uh, to happen. Uh, good morning, everyone, once again. Uh, Terry, so you say you're out for the year? Not twelve games. Isn't twelve it? games. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's just the end of regular season. That's how many games you got left? Twelve. Terry, that's a stiff penalty, man. That's twelve. That's not. That's twelve. That's not two basketball bad. games. That's like being suspended four games in football. That's about, you know. I'm doing play. a coaching decision, <clears throat> and I'm going to spend him for 12 games. If I'm in trouble, we can still win our tournament. That's how I'm thinking as I'm coach. So you're saying he should have been off the team? Uh, for the rest of the year. He should have been done. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got you to take it seriously. He's not, he's not like – he's not a – he looks like a grown man, but they're still kids, Terry. They're, they're going to – you have to. The punishment's got to fit the crime. I He's think only 12, staying there this year. He's going to be gone anyway. Yeah, but I think a twelve. <laughs> yeah, I think a twelve game suspension is pretty. It's pretty good. I, I think that's. I mean, that's a lot of games. Hey, I think the games. worst thing about it is he didn't get his check after the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't get no check. That's what they should he have. Didn't get his check. Didn't that get was the check. worst part about. Yeah, it. Odell wasn't there to you give can, his, you, his money. You can't go game. to the residence dining hall for the next three weeks. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. That's his punishment. No tater tots for you, sir. Yeah, how about uh, that, Terry? Let's negotiate. He gets twelve games, but he can't have tater tots in the postseason. Yeah, I just know that Coach <laughs> did, Self was thinking about his self. If, if he, he goes zero and twelve, just, then they're going to struggle getting in turn. He's got to win his tournament. If I, they go six and six, he's still going to get in the tournament because their record's not going to be that bad. Now, if he swings the chair or he hits somebody with the chair, I agree with indefinite. you. Indefinite. And uh, yes, that's the Miles Garrett situation. Even though we're going back to that. Once you take a deadly weapon and swing it at somebody, then you kind of lost the moral high ground. So if he swings that chair at somebody, even if he misses, I agree with you. Miles was defensive. That would have been offensive. Totally. Yeah, different. yeah, yeah. But I, 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 <laughs> he I, did I, let go of it. Um, yeah. I get that. That that is kind of in his favor that he did let go of it. Thought at the very last second, I guess you could oh, see in the instant replay. Yeah. Uh, they, what what Terry? Karras won. He beat him in the last set, seven six. See, they had us a good set, man. It was 6-2. Then it was 7-6, seven, 7-6, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six. See, I was thinking while looking at the, the scores this morning, I'm like, I want to ask Terry some Australian Open questions just to get him on some, uh, let him pronounce these guys. I'm not pronouncing any guy that's on <laughs> no. there. I don't even know how to spell the other guy he was playing. <laughs> yeah. I watch I watch the Dallas Mavericks. I can't pronounce half their players' names, man. No. They're like they're all from Europe. Man. They, we'll see what they – yeah, they always use their second late-round picks for – Europeans, because you can there's an extra rule in there. You can stash them for a year, a year or two, something like that, to that nature. But either way, you're right, Tom, that they do have a lot of Europeans. But that that's how they uh, do. And, and a lot of people thought maybe Charlotte should start trying that uh, as well. And they're not doing good with their first round picks. No, uh, obviously, not. They were in Paris this week, down at the Australian Open. If you're wondering, the Dial wins today. Uh, Terry, who won today? Hmm, Carlos. Where's he from? Yeah, I think it's Australia. Okay. Don't know how accurate that is, but uh, Medvedev. Everybody in there was pulling for him, so I figured Medvedev, he was from there. Medvedev won as well, uh, and Warinka in the men's. Nadal hit a girl in the head with the tennis ball. They were playing mixed doubles? Uh, no, he was hitting one back down the line. and it Oh, you talking about one of the ball girls? Yeah. <laughs> he stopped the match and went over to her. Where was she at? Kiss. On the back line? Or no, on he's the on side? the front side, on, right in the middle. Oh, at the net? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I bet that yeah. didn't feel too good. <laughs> yeah. You, you ever had a fast tennis ball? Had to try to return one? Yeah. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, 
they had where the soccer field is at Bandy's, down below it is the tennis court. Right. And before the varsity game, we wouldn't have anything to do, so we would go down there and watch the girls' tennis team. But we had two girls that would make state championships. They know they do, Tom, like warm up, practice, scouting. No, it's while the, not, while the JV, not while the JV <laughs> game's going. We could care less. <laughs> so we would walk down there, and one of the coach, the coach of the tennis team said, there's not a single person on that on your soccer team that could that could return her serve, and I didn't like hearing that. I said, "There's no way none of us can't Challenge. return her serve." Yeah, and she, I mean, she went on to play at App State. Yeah, and like uh, she went on to play college ball, and uh, her sister won state the, uh, the year after. So we lined up to try and take one of her set uh, her serves. And I was the only one that made contact, but it went out. It went, flew behind me. So it, she she put some heat on it. Came pretty fast. But between the the speed and then someone that could put a spin on it, it's totally different than what people. So people just think it's like just hitting a spin the ball back and spin forth. Spin and placement. Hey, my sister played high school tennis, and Terry, I would play with her. I was athletic enough to be on the court with her. Okay, I could return stuff back and forth, fun with her. But once we started doing serves and stuff, she just Ah, she just kicked my butt. That so she that was the one sport she liked doing uh, playing against me. Also, never play her in horse. Uh, she will bank you to death, and you, you'll never see the light of day. Because it'll, it'll just be bank, 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 bank. It looked like a Pete Maravich movie. Uh, is what it is playing <laughs> with my sister. <laughs> She's the winner of that always. Uh, all right, JP, are we ready for our first break? All right, yeah, positive, JP. I didn't sound too positive. You re- are you ready for our first break? What'd you have for breakfast from Mitchum's Kitchen? You got to get on it. I'm I'm halfway through a sunrise. What is it called? Wrap. Sunrise wrap. I, I, I get never here. get the name of the right. Wrap. I always get here early to make sure I have enough time to eat my bacon, egg, and cheese on toast. That was me kitchen. too, Tom. Yes. So make thing. sure I get here early. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Our generation got to work early. Yes. All right. Since we hadn't seen Terry in a while, we're going to let him choose the break where we want to go with this. We've got some uh, golf, baseball, Hall of Fame, and cheating in baseball. You've got All Stars and uh, 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 Isaiah and other NBA action. You've got national championship in Odell and my, my new college rankings that Tom hated, and then the NFL uh, with quarterback carousels and, and Hall of Fame and other things in the NFL. Terry, well, we're going to talk about it during the break, folks. We'll be right back in just a minute. KTCBroadcasting.com.
want to hear about sports. Terry Terry wants to brag on his Wolfpack <laughs> beating Virginia on Tuesday night without for, for not scoring for 10 minutes in the second yeah. half and We're still talk winning about that Carolina ball game. basketball for the next hour and 35 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How many times do you get this part in year, and you look at a standings? Carolina is dead last all the time. Dead last. It's happened a couple of times under Roy. Williams. One and six, eight and ten. No, not really. No, they're not really. Carolina basketball, and they've always won nineteen games or more. I'm talking way back. This team's not going to win nineteen unless they change something starting today. I mean, they play Miami today, and they got stayed on Monday. But, you know, and I swear and I keep sitting back, Cole Anthony, and yeah, y'all have y'all's opinions, but if I'm dad and I, he say, keeps saying he's going to come back, uh, if they lose today and then you well, play State and you lose in, I, there's no way I'm letting my son come back and play Cole Anthony's you. coming back for draft purposes. He got Because the last time they saw him, he really didn't have a great outing. Uh, I know he, he, still he lit it up. 20. Yeah, top I know 10. a top 20, but that's a huge difference in what your initial salary is going to be in your signing bonus. He wants to show that he can still be a top five pick. When's the last time you heard of a Carolina team lose five straight in the ACC? Six. Is it's it six? the first time ever. They've lost six straight. Yes. Because I've got them for five straight overall, but six straight ACC games. Yeah, it's games. the first time ever Carolina's lost. They won their first wow. one. They've lost the next six. And they are dead last, aren't they, Terry? Yes, dead last. They are dead last. Yeah, remember that, dead wow. last. Wow. Time to fire the coach, right? No. <laughs> I mean, they could win today and move is, ahead of Miami. Well, whose fault is it, Terry? I'm going to be honest. I, I, this, I, team no. don't have, this team does not have any talent. They do not. Well, they don't have any who's talent. But now, wait that? a minute. These are the people that they've got. Robinson. I mean, these are guys who are – four- and five-star athletes that are there. But you know what's killing them, and I, I will say this, and I'm not dumb when it comes to basketball. We got we got a lot of injuries. <clears throat> you you cannot lose Cole Anthony, mm-hmm. and you cannot lose Harris. I mean, your next backup Backup point guard. And Garrison you, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You cannot do that and expect to win. Mm-hmm. And I remember when we were in here not at the this very offense. start of the year, and I told every Carolina fan sitting in here that day, you can't expect to get this team to win a bunch of games with Cole Anthony having to score 30-some points a game. No. I mean, that's just not going to happen. Now you do not have him, and you can't even win. You know, I mean, the other night I thought they was going to pull off a big win against Virginia Tech, but they faltered down the stretch. Garrison Brooks got hurt, who ended up having a monster game that day. They didn't. Ha- then that's their go-to scorer. Because, you know, the Carolina offense, it's it's not always wing shooters. It's point guard and bigs. So, now that Brooks is basically, well, he got hurt. Where was their scoring coming from? Yeah, they're Robinson on, didn't play. Yeah, so. Robinson didn't play because he was in a car yeah. accident a few days earlier, and he was sore from that. So, it just seems like everything that could go wrong for this Carolina team, and I'm not going to take they still got to go out there and they got to play to try and win. But it just seems like everything that could go wrong for him is going wrong. I've been critical of Roy Williams uh, for a few years about how his coaching style sometimes and some of the players that he recruits, they just don't pan out in the long run. But we've had some success, though, the past um, two or three uh recruiting classes to have some talent come through like the Joel Berries, like the Marcus Pages, but but this past recruiting class outside of Cole Anthony, I was not impressed. One thing that they do highlight though is that Carolina's got four players playing in the McDonald's All American game coming up uh this year that's coming into the class of twenty twenty. <clears throat> Here's the thing though. Will you ever change up the offense? Because to me it seems no. like if you if you don't have the key focal point of that offense, which is the point guard, to do the run-and-gun style offense that Roy Williams likes to run, wouldn't you try to maybe change up your game plan, try and have a few more set plays in the half-court offense, maybe try and get another big man uh, working? Because truthfully, they That's don't, where they don't the have this. coming from. The big man is the only yeah. points they're getting. But, and even then, Baycott has not been impressive, and no. he was a highly recruited big man. Garrison Brooks has had to shoulder it, but even then, I'm not a Garrison Brooks fan because I don't, un, until now that he has become the guy that has to score, he's played timid. He's sometimes scared to go up and bang bodies with people. He likes that little, that little jump shot from just underneath the free throw line. 
That's where he makes most of his shots, the little jump shot. But he's not going down low, banging for rebounds. I don't know, man. I, I just watched this Carolina team, and it's 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 sad how terrible they are at shooting. At shooting. And Carolina is one guard. of the worst shooting teams in the NCAA. No, I know not just the ACC. Virginia also. The NCAA. I, I, I understand it. Trust me, when I was watching it the other day, it wasn't against Virginia Tech. It was against Pittsburgh. And I was, I literally had my phone in my hand watching it for two minutes, and I threw my phone on the, on the bed. I was like, I can't watch this. this I know a, a lot of people sit back and say, it's Roy Williams. We don't need – there's no way any – and I don't like Roy Williams anyway. I mean, I'm just going to be honest because I didn't like it when he turned Carolina down at the start. And then when, hey, everything's good over there, I'm coming, when Matt Darty had all the players, mm-hmm. and I took them and go win a national championship. But I've never liked him. But you cannot put the guy down. The guy's won at least 19 games every year he's ever been coaching. At least <coughs> 19 games. Well, so Probably not this year. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's got eight. And I think he's very frustrated because he knows he does not have the talent. But I still think it comes back. Oh, he back. came out and said it. And we always talk about That's what I thought was crazy. He came out and said it. you got to have guards. It. And he does not have a legit guard to run his offense. No. All right, we've got uh, Coach Harrell of the Chair of Lyman on the phone, guys. So let's kind of take a break from Carolina basketball. And Coach Harrell, can you hear me? All right, we heard you. Uh, we were at Crest last night. Cherville had a game. Just tell us about who you played, how, how to come out. Just tell us a little bit about what happened last night. I've seen a lot of those in high school basketball where a team is up maybe three, four, or five points and, and loses the game, and, and a lot of that is the composure of the kids. So I think what you're, what you're saying about your kids is they're not, they're not typical. They're not going to panic in that situation, and a lot of times it is the team that panics that, that doesn't come out on top. But a, a good job by you as well, Coach, because those games a lot of times are won by a good call by the coach in the last few minutes of that game. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds like it is a competitive league with you guys, Thomas Jefferson, Christ the King. Kevin's got it pulled up here. And then Best, yeah. Yeah, I've seen Bessemer City play as well. They're, they're not real big, but they sure are athletic. And they like to get after you on defense. And they and they have, you know, they, they run a press very well. I saw them against Burns, and they were actually able to come into Burns and beat Burns. So I. It's going to be a it's going to be a tough league, you know, going down the stretch. And I'm looking at the top here, so you guys are in second now, tied for second. Am I reading that right? Okay, who we got coming up? All right, you mentioned uh, you mentioned Lane Harrell having a great season. Any other guys that you uh, have really stepped up and uh, and contributed to the success of the team?
Well, yeah, I, I've seen that happen a lot too. And Kevin and I saw a game last night where you had a kid that was six three and two forty and got out rebounded by both point guards. So a lot of it is 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 technique and hustle and yeah, and effort. Well, moving forward, who do we have next week, and, and how is this going to play out in the standings, you know, uh, the, the season? I guess we got about a couple more weeks. Yeah. Coach, what do you think? Coach, what do you think, you guys, uh, as far as number of teams out of this conference looking at playoffs? Are, are we going to get five uh, or maybe even possibly six? Five? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Co- that, that's, that's League of Charter Christ, King, Cheryl, Thomas Jefferson, and Bessemer City, Terry. Coach, I have one question for you. What what separates Lincoln Charter from everybody else? What is what is the one key that they have? Gotcha, coach. I understand that. It does. It does seem like everybody can hit the three or shoot the three these days on the, on the elite game. Uh, you know, on the elite teams. But it just, I guess, the game's just evolved. I mean, if you got a guy six ten, he's out there shooting threes. Oh, ouch. That that went at one point in a one point <laughs> game that helped out a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh for thirteen. Wow. <laughs> All right, yeah. coach. Well, yeah. you uh you have a good weekend. Enjoy enjoy it and uh we'll talk see you next week and good luck. Yes, yeah. sir. Good All luck right. to you, coach. All right. All right, we're going to uh so we're gonna have some trivia for some New York Knicks tickets this week. So it's it's not really a trivia question. You can't look it up. It's gonna be Read Terry's mind. Okay. Yeah. So the the you have to guess. So anybody can call in and guess. Get one guess. So we're gonna keep JP busy here. So JP, you gotta man the phones, okay? Now, don't tell them if they're right. We ain't even gonna tell you if you're right. Just call in and give JP your your your, your answers. We want to see if you can guess Terry Reinhardt's NC State basketball Mount Rushmore. So this is a kind of a play on what me and Hunter do. Uh, on our podcast during the week, we like to do a Mount Rushmore of teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we, we've done some Braves and Tar Heels and other things like that. So uh, Terry's going to have his Mount Rushmore. Okay. So all you got to do is guess. Read Terry's mind. This is already flawed. The, it the doesn't reason, matter. The reason why it's flawed is there's four faces on Ru- Mount Rushmore, but right. there's five on the court. Right. So we're only going with four anyway. Well, that's where I said five, and then he said, no, we're just going to go four. No, I don't want to start lying. This is Mount Rushmore, Tom. Mount Rushmore. Have you ever – do you teach history? You, you guys got that in the book. I just said, they have there's, I just the said there's four people on Mount <laughs> right. Rushmore, and five, I, I'm right. pointing I don't out care. The, my knowledge is pointing out right. the flaw in what well, you're doing. Well, there's 50, 45 presidents, and so there's only – that's a better percentage. I got about 80%. But the, uh, Mount Rushmore was started back in the <laughs> 20s and 30s. There weren't 45 presidents then, Kevin. All right, Mount Rushmore uh, – uh, we're going to guess – you have to just call in and guess Terry's, okay? NC State basketball, um, and at the end of the show, we'll, we'll have the winner, and, and we'll, we'll reveal the winner. And But you call in, give JP your four NC State basketball players. They're on Mount Rushmore, 704-435-2844. Uh, 704-435-2844. Give your Mount Rushmore of NC State basketball players, and you can win some Charlotte Hornet tickets. 
uh, uh, against the New York Knickerbockers. So, uh, Terry, we're going to discuss this in just a minute. Uh, oh, yeah. Behind I mean, the scenes, deal, I will say this: in, in, I got a couple of nominees. End. I might, I might knock yeah. someone off here. Well, we'll my see. whole deal is this: is uh, yeah, I doubt you're going to knock them off out of my mind. But if you can get three of my four, uh, you know me pretty good. That's what I'll say. Uh, th- there's two that I would. <sighs> Looking at this, Terry, I'm giving give some of you folks here. Everybody's going to get one of them. Yeah, one of them's easy. But that's why I want to do NC State because I, I was there thinking about coming in, in in today, Terry. I didn't. There's no. I don't think there's a definitive on the next couple. There may be for you. There may be for others. And but you'll have your reason. Now, basketball players only, folks. No Valvano. Uh, so basketball players only. Okay. Um, and so Terry, I got a couple that I thought might make the list. But uh, just uh, folks, if you want to, you can look up all the NC State basketball players you want. Give us a call seven zero four four three five. Two eight four four. Wait, JP, up and, and tell yeah. him your guess and on what be Terry's more state Mount, fans Mount are Rush besides means me. four. That means four, and you can win Charlotte Hornet tickets, Terry. Well, maybe there's not any state fans that like Charlotte Hornets. Y'all don't have a lot of pros. Huh? Oh, come on! <laughs> What's the last yeah. one you paid? What was his name? Dennis Smith. Where's he at now, Hunter? Is he still in the league? He's still in the league. Was he still with the Knicks? I don't know. He's still Is he a Knicks? You can watch NC State basketball. There you go. There's our tie. So you got an NC State trivia question to go. You can see Dennis Smith play with the Knicks on Tuesday night. How about that? Do you got a Dennis Smith jersey, Terry? Uh, no. Do state fans still have Dennis Smith jerseys? Probably not. Do y'all like Dennis Smith like Carolina fans like Rashad McCants? Uh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Terry, wanted to talk <clears throat> some uh, uh, college basketball, Terry. Uh, are, 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 any more? No. Any more in college basketball? No, I, I just wanted no. to go over okay. the standings. Okay. For the men, Louisville leads the way at seven and one, sixteen and three. FSU second, six and one, sixteen and two. What a great year they're having down there. Duke comes in third, six and two, sixteen and three. North Carolina State and Virginia Tech and Syracuse are all tied for fourth. And uh, we're going down where Carolina's dead last at one and six, eight and ten. In the ACC women's bracket, Louisville leads the way, so they lead in both of them. They're eight and 19 and one. North Carolina State in second. Seven and one, eighteen and one. Frauds. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> we, got, we got them Tar Heels coming back <laughs> this coming week, so we'll get even Frauds. with that. Uh, FSU, <laughs> Georgia Tech, and Carolina are all third. You know, at fourteen, and Pitt is on the bottom at zero and seven, thirteen and five. But if you're watching anything, I mean, the ACC right now, if you go to the bracketology thing, they only put in five teams. In from the ACC, y'all. This is a down year, technically, for I'm the ACC telling you, Louisville, in basketball. Well, what they do, Hunter, Duke, and I've been noticing this over the years, they Virginia figure State. out wherever NC State is, and that's, that's, the, that's the line. If you're worse than NC State, you don't belong in the tournament. That's what they do every year, Terry. That's how they draw the line. But Just now, if you, you know. look at your overall records from there down, Syracuse is sixth at 12-7, and seven, Pitt 13-6, and six, Virginia 12-6. and six. They didn't even have Virginia in the thing. I win some games. So, there you go. Uh, Everybody else is ten and eight or less. I tell you, you missed national <laughs> championship weekend. Uh, comment to comment on that. What a uh, big weekend it was! Uh, North Dakota State winning another national championship, and that's uh, nothing new. And, and Tom wanted to poo poo it, Terry. And, uh, you know, uh, you know how those those elitist football fans are with their Georgias uh-huh. and their NC Ohio uh-huh. State. Well, I, I want to mention some other things. You're talking about North Dakota State winning that. That's an elite. They're there every year. They win it every year. Uh, when we go back, and one more thing on college basketball, is State is fourth in the ACC, and they're not even ranked. Mm-hmm. Now, you tell me if that was Duke or Carolina, they would be in the top 20 and ranked at this point in time. Probably top 10. Well, that's what I'm saying. So th- those are the things that's flaws about what we're doing. I mean, don't get me wrong. Carolina started off fourth in the poll, and they eventually fell out. Terry sounds more like me during basketball season. Well, I mean, I have a hard time with this. Season. I mean, what do you have to do? You're 14-5. and five, You just, Don't get me wrong. We beat a so-called not-that-great Virginia team at Virginia. That's a good win. They do play mm-hmm. defense. You know, and then we did beat a team who had beaten Carolina and Duke, as people say, but Carolina's not that great this year. But we did beat Clemson last weekend, you know, so, you know, give us a little bit of credit. now, But we're not even mentioned on the next ones. So there's something mm-hmm. wrong with this whole thing. Yeah. I'm just looking at my internet real quick. Something uh, wrong. Well, Terry, uh, so North Dakota State, of course, champions of the, the – the real champions, you know, played a tournament. Tom, Tom Poo pooed them. 
Uh, but anyway, national championship. Uh, mm-hmm. Any thoughts on that? Uh, not really. I mean, LSU end up being the better squad overall. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I took Clemson because I'm an ACC man. Uh, did I want? To, I mean, you know, now that they've won it, uh, it's all about the SEC again. You know, okay, let's see if you can do it next year. They yeah. won't. They won't. LSU won't. I mean, not losing That's what I'm as saying. a coordinator. They, they're not. Yeah. I mean, they lost and, too much. Everybody. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kevin's not talking about Orgeron's extension. I was wanting to know if like Kevin researched that because yeah, usually he he's all like over a, that. He, did he get got the, what six year extention? Yeah, he yeah. got a. I he know, got a bunch I don't of money. Know, but it just came million. up. It just came up extension. It didn't have the dollar amount. Yeah, it's about forty million. Is it? Yeah, that's I, all. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. And you got kids going to LSU that Pride are about one hundred twenty thousand dollars in debt when they get done. <laughs> Pride of LSU over here, uh, Terry. I got a new. I got new rankings for hey, you. Go Tigers! All righty. So what, what I did was I took the top twenty five teams. Right, that that the voters voted on, and I took the winners, and those were my top teams. And then the losers came in after that. So if you won your last bowl game, you go in the, you go in the in the in the top. You're moving up. So number one, LSU Tigers. Yep. The number two, Georgia Bulldogs. Yep. In the world, can you even say just, that? Just yep. Ter- Terry, just what just talking about? just deal with this part of the show. Oh, okay. yeah. We have to do this every What are you week. talking about? Two, two, two and three were knocked out. Terry, in the Terry, world? Terry, we have to deal with this every I know. I'm, 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 you I'm just like, agree. He was so happy about it. And I say two, Georgia. It's kind of like you mind. broke your That's leg crazy. and you have to go through the therapy. There's this no is like way. the therapy part. What are you just, talking they're about? Georgia can something. be number this is, two. This is called earning your way. <laughs> oh, Lord. He's taking the team. The team that lost to get out. Yeah. Yeah. If you lost your ball game, you're out. I don't care. Georgia lost to South Carolina, who is terrible. Terry, how does it hurt? We Baylor. Terry, Terry. Who's Baylor? Who's uh, Baylor? Their coaches and staff is coaching an NFL team right now. Yeah, well, good, good job, buddy. <laughs> that's how good Baylor That's how Tom Keekley says I'm Baylor. getting out of here. Terry, this is the your mama telling you to eat your lima beans part <laughs> well, of the That's show. what I'm saying. Why right, do you okay, think number, you three, number three, the Oregon Ducks. Whatever. That's <laughs> crazy. Number, <laughs> number four. <laughs> The fl- I would have the rankings of if my internet was working in front of me. Number four, the Florida Gators. Five, Penn State. Six, Alabama. Seven, Notre Dame. Eight, Iowa. Nine, Minnesota. And ten, the Appalachian State. Mountaineers finished as a top ten school this Good year. Play UAB. Eleven, oh, okay. Cincinnati. And twelve, Navy. Who scheduled UAB? Now, wait a minute. I'm so, going to say this. Let's talk Ohio about State that. Let's talk, Cincinnati talk about that. 50 to nothing. I'm going to say this. So, and this whatever. is on my should have lost. Whatever. I usually don't agree with Kevin a lot of times. But today <laughs> That's I natural. am. Yeah. Hey, Appalachian State should be up there. I, hey, you floundered. You had an opportunity. You blew it up in Boone, in the snow, in a game that you should win. You know, no big deal. But you only lost one game. It's not their fault whoever schedules these bowl games puts UAB. Right. I, I am so mad at that. That, that was, was not even wrong. It really was. I will uh, say I will say this. They if, if you, you can't say you don't play style. nobody then don't give you the chance. They beat an man. ACC yeah. team, they beat an SEC team. They probably That's should have, they, should, they probably should have been up there to get the New York the, 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 who who got got in the top. Yeah. Who got the New York Six Bowl? They should have been playing Notre Dame and Notre Dame probably said ain't no way. We're playing Appalachian State in a bowl game because when you looked at the matchups and, the, and how it ended up, Notre Dame was who they should have matched up against, and uh, that's where they got messed up. And I guarantee you Notre Dame had some some foot on that gas right there. And here's the thing: you tell Appalachian State in Division Two, like North Dakota State, well, you're not good enough to rank you. Okay, well we'll go to one double A, SEC, ACC. Can we come play? No. Okay, well, we'll go to Sun Belt. We'll go to Sun Belt. We'll win that. Can we get ranked? No. You got to go undefeated. Well, can we get a big bowl game? No. You got to undefeated. Well, how about in the bowl game, if we do beat everybody this year and win it, how about you put us up against one of these sorry teams that didn't win their conference, like Notre Dame or that's not even in the conference, or one of these other three, four, and five teams? Like Terry said, you can't sit there and say you didn't play anybody. You're sitting there, you're doing your best to try. You went to Carolina and you won. You went to South Carolina and you won. I know those weren't great teams. They one of them made a bowl game and they won from his Matt Brown playing got, Temple. Matt Brown got inducted in the yeah. North Carolina Hall of Fame this year for his coaching job. But he got beat by Appalachian yeah. this year. Appalachian so. should have had a better That's game how great than a UAB. Was. I mean, I'm the first one to say that <laughs> they should have been matched up with one of the Power Five, right? To play, right? Why would you match them up against yeah. each other? That's not you, you can't take. And, uh, and all it is, that. and all it is, those Power Five conferences, Terry. All they're doing is putting the weight on because they don't want to lose to them. Because anytime they win, they get to sit over here and act like Ohio State fans. But 
Oh, we're whatever. just so high and mighty and whatever. We don't well, care about sorry, He just land. ranked Cincinnati in front of Ohio State, and Ohio State beat them 50 to nothing. So that tells you about his poll right but, there. But, Tom, <laughs> look what at, does oh, a ranking 50 mean? to nothing. Nothing. Ke- a ranking means Kevin. nothing. It means uh, nothing. We had this conversation nothing. last week that college hey, football ticket. Did you nothing. know that most college football games mean nothing? Right. Yeah. That's what he said. That means nothing. Right. That's why 100,000 people show up. I guess that's why George is number two. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. <laughs> But why does that matter? Hey, it doesn't uh, look, matter. Hey, only one, nothing only one, wrong with Georgia. We beat. Anything we beat. under than one hey, doesn't matter. All I know is 100,000 <laughs> people show up for meaningless things all the time. So, Go ahead, Harvey. So here's we we beat Let me explain no, this. Just we beat, we y'all beat y'all say the opinion. Ago, y'all say care. everyone else's opinions matter. So I took everyone else's opinions. And then the teams that won that actually earned it on the field, I bumped them up, and that is, and, and then I've, com- I've committed a crime. Who did Oregon lose to? I committed a crime. You they didn't, didn't lose crime. anybody. You they won. A, you committed I know a crime. They won their bowl game. Y'all tell me these bowl they games. Are so, they lost the first game tell me of the year to these bowl games are, but then when I'm, I put it? some emphasis and on then they, they lost out. to Utah. No, they waxed Utah. Then they lost to. Wait, they lost two. They lost the, I know they lost the game. They really shouldn't have lost. So I don't know if it was okay. USC. Well, that's or, what I'm saying. I mean, we still have Georgia at number two. Amen. And they lost to South Carolina. Amen. That's I mean, a bad day. Come on. That means that. Yeah, yeah, I am wrong. App should be two. Then in Georgia three. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, head to you, head, we're better so far. We're I would know put one Georgia up or in on the, the top ten for sure. I would want to know who who is the highest ranked team that won their bowl game. Besides LSU. LSU. Besides LSU. Oh, the Georgia Bulldogs. Oh, my God. Oh. The yeah, Georgia Bulldogs. that's that poll. North Carolina State's not po- even ranked in the top 25 I didn't even in make basketball the poll. and we're fourth. I didn't make the poll. I'm just repeating the poll and giving a trophy to the winners, which was what I thought we did. But nope. Okay. I just need the rules before I start making these lists so y'all can tell me. Oh, oh, Y'all come what? in here. And <laughs> if one team beats another one out. by fifty, they're not ranked ahead of them. Okay, well, just go ahead and put that. Just go ahead and put that in your notes somewhere. Well, at beat <laughs> at beat South Carolina, who beat Georgia, so they what? should be ranked ahead what? of them. Do you agree, then, Tom? No. App barely beat a uh, injury decimated South Carolina team. <sighs> that has to be taken. Yeah, they had a third string quarterback. That was an that injury decimated. I Don't think they schedule them. them. They pulled some guys up from the flag look, football team. Look, to play I, I will get listen, Kevin. Last year, Sam Howell was fourth string quarterback for North year, Carolina. You play at Wake Forest, <laughs> win, and at Wisconsin, win. I, you ain't. If you beat Wisconsin, I'll finally give App State some win. credit because I haven't seen them beat a top twenty-five team since. Jeez, oh, I tell you what. Mac Brown can get inducted to the Hall of Fame for going six to six, but if we beat them, the win don't count, Terry. <laughs> North Carolina, <laughs> like, like what is that? North Carolina, yeah. no, North Carolina was predicted to only have two wins this year. We got six. I mean, Georgia we basically Georgia can get what we were. What we were Georgia predicted. can get trounced by South Carolina, and, and I did not and like we stomp that them too, chickens in the ground. And get I'm another credit. one on that end when they come out with your bowl game and they put you against Temple, a team that's give up 50 points in like mm-hmm. three or four straight bowl games. Yeah. Uh, you should beat them. Yeah, yeah, I mean that was seven wins for them. <laughs> yeah, Carolina well, seven, seven win wins season. Yep. Yeah. All right, see if I have any news and notes on NCAA before. Terry, you don't want to hear the rest of the top twenty-five? Then not I gave really. The top no, stayed in it. No. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what kind of question <laughs> is that? Stay Look, in it. I'll tell you what. Georgia oh, might God. actually have a chance now going forward because we don't have the great choker in Jake Fromm. He's committed to the draft. Thank God. Good riddance. I wish we would have retained Justin Fields. But nope, Kirby Smart didn't make that move. He didn't pull a Dabo and start his true freshman of a beast. I don't want to get stopped. So who's going to be Georgia's quarterback next year? Uh, It's the transfer out of from Wake Forest this year. Can I mention another thing about Well, not transfer. He's a graduate transfer. While we're on it. Yeah, you got about 10 seconds. Yeah. Why do we go out here? (laughs) These young guys are declaring for the NFL. I understand maybe family issues. I got to get in there, see where I'm going to be picked if I'm pick, be picked in the top seven. But the the wide receiver from Clemson, T. Higgins. Higgins, yeah, there you go. Coming back, isn't he? No, no. huh? No, ETN's coming back for Clemson. Yeah. That's what I heard. That's, that's, that's right, great ETN. for them. Yeah, but he's coming back on account of hey, I got a quarterback. Back I see that. Makes me look. I good. saw that T. Higgins might follow the second round. Well, Higgins might fall further than that, guys. He's injury prone. Every time he gets on a football field, he gets hurt. Good, he should get paid for his for getting hurt then. Then he won't have to worry about it. Okay. Right, All Terry. One hundred percent right. You're on the same page. All right, I Terry, I got Dallas something. don't pick him. Uh, <laughs> hey. So uh I'll give Terry the Al Snow one from the other day. So Terry this is someone different. But uh this angry lady behind me 
in a hurry at the McDonald's drive-thru, honked or was honking her horn at me because I wasn't ordering fast enough. So when I got to the first drive-thru window, I paid for mine and hers. Got up to the next drive-thru window, showed them both my tickets. I took her food and went on. So much for her being in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Move, move of the day. Uh, we'll be back. Yeah. JP, if he's awake, where's he at? I see feet up. He's not awake, is he? JP. Hey, JP, it's 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 a uh, commercial time. There you go. Stretch it out, buddy. Is that what you were doing? Stretching those hips out. I see, yeah. buddy. Tough night, huh? Out on the town. <laughs> yeah. Did you find a fiance? Too many biscuits this morning. <laughs> All right, buddy. Let's take a break. We'll be right back in a minute. To talk more. Remember, hold on. The trivia question is: What is Terry's Mount Rushmore? Of NC State basketball, you can win a Charlotte Hornets ticket, 704-435-2844, the top four players in, in NC State basketball history. We'll be back on KDCBroadcasting.com. What, JP? We're back. Listen, listen. If we have to wait on you to sit up and put your feet down and and, and take some work, <laughs> we're gonna. Ha- you can wait on us to put our headsets on for one second. Introduce something. Say something. Welcome to sports. Hey, Mister Tennis. <laughs> Mister <laughs> Mr. Tennis, you should be in there breaking down the Australian Open while we're in here getting ready. We're talking NC State basketball. They're probably over now, out that way. All right, Terry's trivia question morning. of the day. It's not really a trivia question. You can't look it up. You have to guess Terry's Mount Rushmore of NC State basketball. I'm guessing it's going to be hard to get all four. I might give you the tickets if you get all three. It doesn't matter. Just call and guess. Whoever gets the most out of Terry's list will get the tickets. Uh, You have four uh, guesses, four players on Mount Rushmore of NC State basketball. Uh, I'm going to give everybody a hint, Terry. I'm going to give them one. How about that? Think I can give them one? You probably could. We can give them one, can't we? Hmm. All right. Hint number one. 
David Thompson is on the list. There you go, Tom. I know you was worried about that. One that would be kind of hard not to put that guy. Wondering on that if list. your fellow graduate was you, Junior Marshall, the greatest Thompson, doing Thompson's college years, basketball Tom? one player of all time. One that was left off is in the top five. Hey, 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 hey! Then the, our no. people don't know. All right, we, we're not announcing his. We're not announcing his. People are guessing, Tom. Oh, you can't Lord. say it yet, Tom. Just on account of you the end of the show. Your between Mount Rushmore thing that you're trying to do, and between you never watch state play. I, I would watch State play, but they're so boring, Terry. It's hard to get through the game. I watched him play the other night. They didn't score for 10 minutes. But we won. Yeah, but that's even worse. <laughs> I mean, it's like we beat you the didn't defending deserve champions. to win. Uh, yeah, you did. Uh, I'll give you that. I would say any red team with State on their jersey is boring to watch. What do you think, Hunter? Yeah. Yeah, both of you. Yeah, yeah get I'll that shirt it. off, huh? Uh, I can't believe He's just wearing. I cannot that believe you'd wear that all week. He don't have. Oh, it. He ran out of clothes. At, <laughs> at least he's a real fan. Look, man. At least he's I a agree. real fan. I agree. Yeah. I, yes, Tom. Ask him who he pulls for in football. This real fan over here. But then he just said, said calling the dogs. In referring to Mac Brown winning six games, he did right. use the pronoun "we," which I didn't call him out for Listen, at the time. Hey. We won six <laughs> games. <laughs> what? No, so how okay. can it be two right. weeks? I'm going to make this perfect. I'm going to make this perfect. Go ahead. It's the same exact thing that my. Best friend's father's told me because he has like five different teams he roots for in college in college sports. There are over a hundred and thirty Division One schools. Why can I not root for more than one? It's not that, but when you use the pronoun "we," that's your team. Okay, well, okay. that's your team. You can't say like I don't go to Crest and say, "Hey, we won this game." Because I'm not part of that high school anymore. Well, I was at a Bandy's basketball game last night, and I literally looked at everybody and said, "I don't have a dog in this fight." That's where he went to school. I know, but I didn't have a dog in the fight. But but it's still we when you go to Bandy's and they say, Hunter, how'd Bandy's do? You can say what we type won. of gambling ring were you sitting in where that comes up that you're sitting in Bandy's? No, I'm because we were playing Maiden. There he and goes. I knew one kid. We did you hear him? <laughs> we <laughs> were playing Maiden. That's, well, that's, that's my right. alumni. That's your exactly. So you yeah, have a dog exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but I wasn't rooting for either team to but win. But you can't say because this was why. Because I have friends whose little brother was playing on Maiden. And I just wanted to see if he was going to play good or not. And he, well, I mean, I'm not going to so blast him, but he didn't play his So he was pulling for his friend's great. little brother over his alma mater. Oh, alma mater. How does it work that way? It just does, man. I mean, I just don't understand. It just <laughs> does. I, just don't I know a lot of people who have many multiple teams. Connor, I mean, Hunter. That's what I'm saying. Like, but my whole deal in behind them, I go in every week saying, who are you pulling for this week? I pull for both of them in their game. I will say they he, don't listen. He, the, they yeah. only they have they don't play each other often. North Carolina and Georgia. They did an open an opening game a few years ago. That one was tough. But either way, I was winning, so it didn't matter. I understand no, 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 when no, I no, walk no. in here. You can't do it that way. Either way, no, I was I'm a state no. man. Whether I, we play football, right. basketball, right. Well, I, well, 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 I was this. Now, who says I don't root for North Carolina in football? I, give, I just prefer Georgia football I give, because it's better football. I give NC State fans oh. credit from what Terry just said. They pull for their school in every sport. The team, the people that do pull for the different ones are either Carolina or Duke fans, and and that 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 is exactly what, what 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 Terry's talk about, and, and he's right on that. I, I don't I don't see yeah. I've, I don't know I've I've ever seen someone walking down the street in a Duke football jersey at any point in my life. I've seen some Lawrence Taylors here and there, so yeah. I can't say that about the Tar Heels and, yeah. and some Julius Peppers, but I don't know if I've ever seen a Duke football jersey. Well, here's one. They'll start wearing <laughs> uh, old boy up at the Giants. Duke lacrosse, maybe. I worked with I, – no, I worked with a guy when – I think it was one year the Michigan beat Ohio – the last time Michigan beat Ohio State in football, something like that. That's been a while back. That's been a while. Yeah. And then, like, later on that year, he's like, yeah, Michigan State beat you. He's like, right about – he's a Michigan State. I said, wait a minute. You can't pull for Michigan in football and Michigan State in basketball. But he did. Like, you can't do that. I mean, that's just like sacrilegious. <laughs> I mean, I don't know where these people get. I'm going to pick the I'm going to pick the team. Their best program I will – and then the rival team I will pull for a, for a different sport. That's the craziest thing. Georgia doesn't have a bad basketball program. Tom Crean's the head coach at Georgia. I know a little bit about Georgia bad. basketball. Not bad. I don't know. Pick your team, and I like what Kevin – like State fans, I will give them that. Pull no. for your team, no matter what <laughs> no. the sport. Pull, pull I know for whoever you want know, to pull for. It, it just, I know another individual who's just like you. Pull who's you got money He pulls on. for Carolina in basketball. Mm -hmm. But if you go to college football, it ain't Carolina football. It's Michigan. It's crazy. Uh, That's crazy. At least I stayed in the said, What are you doing? <laughs> at, least, at least I stayed. In well, the I will say this. At least, at least I stayed. Terry's in the like pro sports are geographically challenged. 
But it's not that he like he does pull for state in all his sport. You never hear mm-hmm. Terry come in here and say we talking about Appalachian State or something like that. So I'll give you a little bit of credit there, Terry. Although your pro teams are Kansas City, but you hate Kansas no, hate City Kansas football. City. No, you like Kansas City baseball. I do. And then the, somehow he likes the Boston Celtics. And Love then the, the Dallas Celtics. Cowboys. I mean, they, you know, who's more geographically challenged than that? But at least but you I don't, don't go switch. Call. I don't go from you Dallas don't. to Cleveland. That's right. That's right. Well, I, I don't blame him. I've converted him. See, I've converted him Listen. on over. Tom, you have That's been nice in here switch, that by long, the way, Kevin. and Who you have you? converted him to Cleveland. He came up. You Listen, know, Terry. I have. Hey, I have a, <laughs> Jerry Jones. I have such a hard time people getting people to, to come things. to my house. I had to give him that sweatshirt mm-hmm. to come watch the Browns game with me. That's how you go. Oh my sweatshirt. goodness! <laughs> Listen, Terry. I mean, I could do the same thing. Basically, Dan Snyder's <laughs> pissed me off for years, so I just I'm not gonna leave my team. I'll I'll just been stay with there. them forever. People who ever come up and been back in my background and says, "I'm a Carolina Panther fan." How old are you? And they say fifty something. I'm like, no, you wasn't. <laughs> no, you had somebody else. You mm. just diverted. It's okay they, to at switch home. if a team moves to your town. You know, that's if okay. that would have been the case, your town, so why? Back in because, the old days, because I'm just paying the same tax code as them. That, that's just silly to me. I mean, think of it. Back just, in the old days, I didn't days, say you had. To. We <laughs> would have all <laughs> been Atlanta Falcons fans. Yeah, because they're the closest to us. Now listen, yeah. this is all about Jerry Jones and and his pendant. He, he's not trying to win. He hasn't tried for years, and that's all this is. Uh, I brought up the other day one thing. You know, some teams have never fixed the quarterback situation. Like the Dolphins never placed Marino. Maybe the Browns, you know, Kozar and there's Bills and Jim Kelly. You know, the Cowboys. What they've never placed Harry is Darren Woodson at safety. Oh man, we haven't had a good safety in years. And, and and that's been the whole of uh, the team. They keep running uh, Jeff Heath out there. I don't know who he's going to. I literally was about to say, what are you, you are just crapping all over Jeff Heath this morning. Darren Wilson is a Hall of Famer. He is. <laughs> like, there's no. Behind Drew Pearson, he would be next. He's already in, isn't he? Wilson's in. You know. But but Pearson, Pearson did not get in this well, time, Well, you missed Terry. your chance. You had the opportunity to go for Jamal Adams, and you choked. Yeah. That, the opportunity you had to go for a lot of guys over mm-hmm. the years, and they, and they hadn't done it. Um a lot of teams don't value the safety. You and, got and one it, now. It's, it's if he goes, to me why. if he stays late in the first round, you can get Delpit out of LSU. Other than that, I don't really know a true safety coming out that would be worth it. Speaking of Hall of Fame, are you going to talk about the baseball Hall yes, of Fame? Yes, that's got, a joke. We, we've got to get to bro- we've got to get to another break. <laughs> you ready for break, JP? There you go. Thumbs up in there. All right. If you want to guess Terry's North Carolina State. There's no state fans up. Oh, it's not working. North, I was about to say no. We're still hung over. North <laughs> Carolina State, Mount Rushmore. You can win some Charlotte Hornets tickets. Uh, we gave you a, a hint. David Thompson is on the list. Three other people. Whoever gets the most right, uh, 704-435-2844, 704-435-2846. Call JP and tell them who your top four NC State basketball players are. top four NC State basketball players ever are you can win some charlotte hornet tickets when we come back we're going to talk major league baseball cheating and the hall of fame on ktc broadcasting.com
Good morning, JP. Good morning. Day out, it was also morning, JP. All right, so talking Major League Baseball Hall of Fame and cheating scandal. Joke. Joke. Which one, the cheating or the Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame. Which Joke. part? All of it. Me and Hunter have been going I've over this about it already. Yeah, the situation. one guy who didn't vote for Jeter is the joke. Well, I, I can agree with that. One hundred percent agree with that guy, not voting for Jeter. Yeah, no. he is all around all Yankee man, all probably of, almost of all time. Second, and I'm not a Yankee sentence, man. The second sentence, Terry. What does Yankee have to do with it? It means a lot. If he was a Brewer, should he get a hundred percent? Maybe not. The, then, then Derek Jeter. Then why watch everything baseball? Why watch baseball for if the that's Yankees. the case? Why well, care about baseball at all? If the only thing you got to do, as long as you got a Yankee hat on, that's all that matters. You, you never hundred percent. If you wear a Yankee bat, hat, you get a hundred percent. If the game was on the line, you never wanted Derek Jeter to be at the plate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Tom. You're an Indians fan. You scared of Derek Jeter? No. I remember when we beat him. I remember I was I I, well, I was maybe ninety six when we put him out ninety seven. Well, heck, y'all won so many World Series, you all know all about them. Ah uh, ha ha ha! <laughs> but we did put out. I remember. Uh, I remember. I went out. There's all these Yankee fans because you know Charlotte is little New York. You yeah. Know? So we went out to watch it. Derek Jeter. Oh, it's Derek Jeter. I think he like popped out there in the game or something, and the Indians beat him. So it was a very, very satisfying experience. I mean, I, you know, what, what hats you have on your head shouldn't matter at all. And that's you know, Larry, Larry Walker got held back, and he finally got in this year. Yeah, um, he deserved it. But, but you know what? The the write up I was reading that Larry Walker played in quote unquote an amusement park. Well, it is. <laughs> Why they hasn't no one else put up those numbers? Why, why hasn't everybody put up You're those right. numbers? You know what? If you it's such what? a it's such a right. such an amusement park, right. like like, and also let's back that up. How hard is it to hit home runs at Fenway? So you know, before let's let's take out all the Red Sox out of the World Series. You know, I mean, how short is the porch in right field in, in Yankee Stadium all these years for Ruth and Gehrig and everybody? That monster's pretty high up. I was yeah, getting ready to say it takes a man to hit you a gotta hit monster. It. You got you got to get it. You Terry, it's really like two eighty five. Yeah, yeah, but it's like how tall yeah. is it? I'm sure can the Red Sox. The I'm sure the Red Sox. Yes, a lot of people can pop <laughs> it up. Uh, the Red Sox Stadium. I, if my internet was working, I'd pull up home runs per stadium. But it's, I'm sure it's uh, one of the highest ones uh, in the league. But, you know, they, no one else has put up the, the numbers as far as Larry Walker has. And, and my goodness, they're better the numbers than, than uh, Martinez, and he was a DH, and he didn't catch baseball. Well, I will agree with Larry Walker getting in, but I am also one of those that you did play Coors Field. I mean, come on, y'all. I mean, if I would take Tony Gwynn there or some of these other guys there, what, how much home runs they might have hit. It might have been a way more. Walker didn't hit a lot of home runs. I know. That's the thing. There you He's go. He's a good hitter. He was an yeah, MVP right. player. Right. He wasn't an MVP, Terry. Yeah. Well, so yeah, I, Tony I get Gwynn. told all the time. Hold on. Well, Tony Gwynn's in the Hall of Fame. Did, did Schilling get in, or is he just no. short? No, he's, he's just short. short. No, they just, only, Tom, this is where I have a problem. Just short. Out of 32 possible people on that list, do you know how many they voted in? Two. That's right, because you got to get well, 75%. That's right? a joke. Is that right? Yes, you have to get that, well, yes. whatever it is. Yeah. But they give you a blank piece of three. paper and you write the name down. Right. No. But, but Schilling should only have been three out of all of them. Schilling's going to get the third? in next time. There should, should be at simple. least five. No, they should only have been three out of all of them well, people the that they had. Then? Bonds and Barry Cle- Bonds. Barry Bonds and Clemens are right around 60%. And Scott Rowland is up to like close to, uh, I want to say, what, 35%. Omar Vizquel, that's a great Cleveland Indian. He deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, Terry. He's up to 52%. Manny Ramirez, <laughs> 28%. We all think about that. No? You think Manny you know, Ramirez? Man, Manny could, should get in in the future. Um, yeah, future. Well, he 312 batting average. Why shouldn't he be in? Uh, he's pretty, because of the PED stuff. So so every year we got to say we're going to put five in every year like the NASCAR Hall of Fame? Uh, my thing is that which which, which, I mean, which which guys took PEDs? How do you hold which against against who who did what? What was illegal? What wasn't illegal? How do you hold what Bonds did uh, and not hold what Manny did or McGuire or anyone else? Uh, they all are taking different things, and most of them are taking things that were legal uh, in the sport at the time. Um, I, I don't remember actually any of them. You know, most things were the rules were changed retroactively. They weren't like, hey, you broke this rule, you're suspended a game. So. Um, you know, where do we draw the line? Who do you talk about? What what error? I mean, do you just put a wing in the hall and say this this error had steroids or whatever? Are the guys today taking HGH and we just can't test it? 
Like what, what you know what what is the line uh, of uh, of all that? Then you got the major league, the last two champions of Major League Baseball cheating to win, and the, then you got Pete Rose and and, and the Shoeless Joe Jackson yeah. situation. So like, what lines? You know, it, well, same thing with the college football voting. It just seems to me we have different lines for different reasons. If you're a Yankee, you get a hundred percent. Trevor Hoffman has the same stats as Mario Rivera. He gets like eighty percent. If you're a Yankee, Derek Jeter, you're supposed to get a hundred percent. I'm sorry, I yeah, poor, I'm poor fella. Did he steal the Hall of Famer? So he didn't get one vote. What's it matter? Like it, it, it's not, it's not that big a deal on that. And I just, um, it, it's it's just I, why can't we have a set standard of of who who does what? And it's tough. Like with Manny, if you close your eyes, say Manny Ramirez, and don't say PEDs or anything like that. By God, he's one of the best right-handed hitters we've seen. Is he not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and Barry Bonds is one of the best lefty lefties we've seen. So what what do we do, Terry? The all time home run hitter's not in. The all time hits leader's not in. The last the two problem. champions have cheated. He, he, my deal with all of this is this: if you're never going to put your all time hitter in, and you're never going to put your all time home runner hitter in, you need to just shut the Hall of Fame down. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just my opinion. Yeah, they need to let. Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, because there's a problem here. And, I mean, no matter what Barry Bonds did, have you convicted him of it? No, you haven't. You haven't t- told him anything, whether he did it or not. And I'm like, uh, Kevin, yeah. yeah, did he take him? Yeah, he grew awful big. You still got to hit the ball. Yeah, you still, still got to be able to see it and make contact. And plus, he it. was probably one of the best <sighs> ball-to-strike ratio guys I've ever seen. Because when you walk in a guy in the first inning, so you yeah. don't want to pitch to him – there is a problem here. He's pretty good. I think three times you know, in his career, three or four times in his career, he was walked with the bases loaded. Time. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So I mean, I mean you know, that's, that's take it out. Yeah. But on the other end of it, when we're talking about what what should we do, should there be a second? T- no, they shouldn't. I think if you make the Hall of Fame, it should be wide open for everybody. I don't think you should have a segment, and I've mentioned that before. Maybe a segment for them, other ones. But, you know, and the more as you go along, is, is Kurt Schilling going to get in? He'll get in. He's going to get in. He's being held the out bloody, over politics right now. The bloody yeah. sock is going to get Schilling's in. Schilling's getting My, held out over politics right now. Yeah. That's clear. Yeah. That's, well, yeah. that's what that is. That is mm-hmm. him not getting along with the writers. Bond's right, not right. getting along with the writers is a lot of what yeah, he's is. getting. And see, think about it. We're talking about feelings. Hey, guys, I worked my whole life. I had 756 home runs. And I'm worried about this baseball writer's feeling so I can get right. into the Hall but of Fame. But Schilling's at about 71%. Right. So he's going he's gonna to get in. Uh, I, I was reading on down the list, Andy Pettit was up last year. Yeah. But he's only at a 12%. He's got 256 wins. Is that enough to get you in? I would say 256. That's a lot, that's a lot of wins. Yeah, that's but a he, lot of wins. Now he's, How many players wins? now have 256 yeah, he, He's involved with all the Clemens stuff, though. So if Clemens ain't getting in, Andy Pettit's not even now, not Pettit coming come close. Now Pettit say it, he did it. Yeah, Pettit, Pettit, Pettit yeah. has admitted to, yeah. to doing it too. So, but, I, I, well, but what, what lines? What lines are you drawing on that? And and well, what did Clemens have? I think Clemens had about sixty one percent, sixty point seven. No, sixty point seven for Bond, sixty one for Clemens. So they're getting closer. To me, man, it I just it just tears me they up. Only got how what you two can years have. left? Do what? They only got two years left before they go on at or one year left before they. Yeah, go that's on right. At. They do that weird right. thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Terry. It just you're makes right. me so mad how out of all the people that you have listed that are up to possibly get in, and your baseball 2020 Hall of Fame class consists of one to two people. Uh, you, it's like I what mean, is that? Well, you want to go when you say you had a graduating class. Usually, you don't have you don't say I graduated one out of two. But it is the Hall of Fame. Yeah. You just don't want to open up the floodgates and let. I didn't, everybody I'm in. not saying open up the floodgates, but I'm, why can't you just have a, a ballot of five and you write the five that you think are the most deserving? Not here's a blank sleet of paper. You write down a name that you think should get. They can check up to ten. It said all the, the all the instructions are check people who you vote for to get in the Hall of Fame. There's no like like. Why do you think they should mm-hmm. get in? There's no. How many voters? No, Anybody know? Uh, I'm guessing 300 and something, or five. It was three or 500. It was a, it was a really large number. I'll look it up, Terry. But um, dang it, you, you just asked me a question. I know. And, and uh, I'm always I messed, you. messed me up there, sir. Uh, anyway, let's just go on to something else. Well, I, I will mention this. So you're speaking <laughs> to that other stuff, and we go back to the Astros for what they did. Uh, so we're doing the NASCAR rule. It's okay for you to cheat, but we're not taking your championship away. You can keep it. Right. That's what it sounds Here like. Here we are again. Okay. Take it away. I mean, you know, we even got players on the Astros teams even admitting 
that they knew what they were doing mm-hmm. now, and they're not taking nothing away. You know, I, come on, guys. I mean, if if they cheated, take the championship away. I mean. Do you take it away and give it to who they played, or do you just take it away? You just and take it away no, totally. See, because I agree the other with team that. didn't win. I agree nothing. with that. I don't. I I would not just be like Astros were taking your championship gotta, away. We're giving it to the team that you beat. I got a no, slight argument no, no, how no. you could give it to them if they didn't get swept. They at least beat them once. Uh, Champion champs, give them, give it to them, crown them, no. bring them back on to the field, pop some champagne, have everybody dogpile. No, I don't. I don't <laughs> just no, just say look. Just say no championship was awarded that year, and just put a, or put an asterisk next to three hundred fifty three, uh, three hundred fifty seven ballots, Terry. Three hundred fifty seven. Yep. Okay. So there, there, there you go. Something like that, right go. in in that area. That was last year's three fifty seven. You, you know what I'd forgotten about. I remember something about controversial things that Schilling said post retirement. Didn't he? Say, he said so. I can't remember exactly what it was, but now that's it's why I said it's all back. it's all politics. You know, yeah. we, we moved into this era where anything and everything you say. He was on ESPN, and he says conservative things when that was when ESPN was going to a, a an all yeah, liberal. I can't remember exactly everything. what he said. There's, I can't there's remember a, exactly I, what there was, was a lot of things you can look it up on the internet. Uh, yeah, it's kind of yeah. I, I remember the a lot of people don't like though. him. A lot of people do. And and to, like I said, does any of that. Like what? What is all that way uh, into? But what it's saying here? Three ninety-seven this year, Terry was the total ballots. Okay. So it's at, it's went up since last. year. It's been forty extra ballots, Terry. You've got to see if Max Preps will give you a vote in the Hall of Fame. You've it, got you've got the, <laughs> yeah, the since football, I coach in California, California Coaches Association. Yeah. So so Terry, I was reading a little yeah. bit when when you rotate off, then how long are you off? Because I think Bonds and Clemens are both up next year. And then they're off. They're the ballot. off. Then you become on that senior thing. It has to be them guys vote you in. So like, okay, yeah. Okay. I mean, they okay. could vote you in at any time, whether it's one year, two years, three okay. years, ten okay. years, whatever. Okay. Here's okay. who just missed: Schilling, Clemens, Bonds, Viscal, Roland, Wagner, Sheffield, Helton, Manny Ramirez, Jeff Ken, Andrew Jones, Sammy Sosa, uh, and Andy Pettit it down to fifteenth, and Bobby Ray sixteenth with five percent uh, of the vote. So there's your Hall of Fame vote, uh, JP. JP. Should be a quick ceremony. Two guys. <laughs> you know, that's the good news. Each of them will have an hour to talk. <laughs> do, do they have a limit? <laughs> do they have a limit? I do not know. <laughs> well, I mean. well, well, Larry Walker said he was the B at the B side of the 45 for the Hall of Fame uh, ceremony. If you, <laughs> if you older folks will get what that means. All right, uh, folks, uh, we're about to take a break. Remember, uh, if you want to guess and try to win some Hornets tickets, you can go with Terry's... Uh, um, Mount Rushmore of NC State players. Four best players in NC State basketball wow. history. Terry's got four written down. If you can guess, whoever gets the most of them wins some Charlotte Hornets basketball tickets. David Thompson is a hint, so you, I've already given everybody one. Uh, give JP a call, 704-435-2844, and uh, we'll get you, uh, get you guesses in. All right, folks, we'll be back in a minute. We've got a little bit of NFL to talk and more. XFL maybe for Terry and on KTCBroadcasting.com.
I tell you what, JP, you're on. He, he is at it, ain't he? He is. What's the next topic? He is on topic. All right, We're Terry, to. NFL time. Let's play a little true or false with uh, let me Hunter and play this on our podcast. Where the uh, only thing you can say is true or false, Terry. Okay, oh, so man, only you can answer this, this question. This is such a – I hate this game. He you, does. You ready, Terry? Okay, I'm ready. If Armani Edwards was the quarterback – of the Carolina Panthers, or remember he was on the Cleveland Browns as well, or the Cleveland Browns the last, you know, thirteen years, mm-hmm. the Browns and Panthers would have the exact same number of Super Bowl championships. True. All right. That's all. That's all. Why do we hate this game? It's all just asking a simple question. Simple well, question. Well, if you study like polls, Gallup polls, there is a scientific way to ask questions, and your your method is about as unscientific as it gets. <laughs> Terry, this is a true false question. That's all we did. That was simple. All right. that, That's all. Uh, <laughs> what does that prove about anything? <laughs> Nothing. What it proves is is that we we talk about quarterbacks, how much they mean, how important they are, year after year after year. And it really doesn't really that matter that much. Yes, it does. Uh, Ryan Townhill's yes, won does. two playoff games of 78 and 88 yards. Derrick Henry, Garoppolo, Derek Henry won two Garoppolo's games. in the Super Bowl without throwing over 100 yards, beating the great Aaron Rodgers. So uh, Lamar Jackson won his game with 300 passing and 100 rushing. So I put it know, to you like this. If Tom Brady had been with the Cleveland Browns this year, Kitchens would still have his job. <laughs> yes. They would have been in the playoffs. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I will uh, say that. Uh, oh, I didn't know he had gonna, receivers. Are you gonna Are you gonna talk about where Tom yeah, Brady's going? Yeah, but Brady year? would have been sacked before Mayfield. Yeah, that's that's, that. that's really where we are. We are <laughs> I'd rather talk about Tom Brady than Amarni Edwards <laughs> if that <laughs> means. We're anything. just playing true false. You're the one still bringing up Armani. I was done. <laughs> no, Terry, you weren't. No. So. The, everyone thinks Brady may be the catalyst of where me and Hunter brought up yesterday. About 10, maybe 15 different quarterback destinations could end up next year. But I think there's only a few that Brady could go to. But here's what else, what I think the catalyst of the postseason is, is who, Terry, will be the quarterback of the New England Patriots? Who will Bill Belichick get? Because he's not waiting until all these – pieces fall. He's going to go get someone to win football games. Who does Belichick have as the New England Patriots quarterback? If, let's say it's not Tom Brady, he's moved on. Who is the Patriots quarterback next year? Well, I don't think they've got enough on their team at, on my end to move up to number one. Right. So I, I, there, there's no way they could do that. So Andy Dalton, Cam Newton, Jameis Winston, Philip Rivers, Ryan Tannehill, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Teddy would Bridgewater, just make it well. it Drew Brees would be a and Dak are and available. He'd get something. Uh, so you've got all those are free agents. The guys I just named are free yeah. agents. He would um, make a swap with San Diego. If he had to trade, he could trade for Derek Carr, uh, Trubisky, maybe even Dwayne Haskins, Washington. Uh, and, and then retired guys, of course, Eli Manning to New England, Andrew Luck to New England, uh, possibilities. So what does Belichick, I think that's the key, because he's not going to wait to see. No. Uh, I, he's not just going to say, well, what's everybody else going to do? Belichick's going to make some moves as soon as Brady. If, so if Brady says, I'm going – I'm gone. What is Belichick going to do? What, what do you think his options are? And, and just, I mean, that's your list for pretty much. Well, if he did something like that, my bet would be let's change with San Diego. Let's bring Philip Rivers here. Let him go out there. Mm-hmm. And also, I would get something for him because Tom Brady, his overall credentials are better than Philip Rivers. There's no trade. They're both There's free no trade. They're free agents. No, they're both. Okay, There's no well, trade. There, we they're got, both free agents. It'd be just a swap. See, I, I I listened to one guy said he had a theory that this is just kind of a cat and mouse game that Brady really doesn't want to go anywhere else and tarnish his legacy or play for some certain teams that he wouldn't play for. So he's just trying to get paid because he took so many pay cuts over time. What do you think about that? Well, that, no, I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, even if they franchise tag money. him, that that basically it's all. It's going to be about the same as you make it now. All the going to the Chargers or going to Tampa Bay or all this stuff is like there was it's, reason it's, why it's he won't go there. He won't go there. Raiders, go there. Raiders, and Chargers are the top right. two. Colts is also Colts. Uh, involved. There's another team, but there was all kind. Of, he had a theory about every every team he wouldn't go to. Was takes too long to get into. But the the root of it is, look, I'm just playing a cat and mouse game. Here's all these other places I could go. So pay me so I don't. That was basically the argument. Which makes sense. I think he, if Daniel he did take stays, so many pay cuts. which I think he will stay at New England, Brady stays. 
I think Josh McDaniel sustained because he didn't get the he didn't get any of the head coaching yeah. positions. Yeah, why would he go for a lateral move? That's what I'm saying. And yeah, I think won't. Brady will stay at New Which I think to me, I think any of the teams that didn't go for him either as the head coach or the enemy offensive coordinator for Kansas City, I think the them not having head coaching jobs, I think that's a joke. The only the only thing I could see, like if he was gonna go somewhere else to where a coach was maybe getting ready to retire like a Pete Carroll, maybe he's gonna coach for two or three more years. And like, okay, you're gonna take it over when I go. Maybe, but I just don't really see that. I mean, that's that's more of a college thing anyway, yeah. wouldn't you think? Yeah. I, I don't really see that happening. I mean, why would he why would he go anywhere else? It doesn't really make sense. So mm-hmm. so I, I think I think he is gonna come back. I think they're gonna write the check. He's gonna come back. They'll go out and get him a wide receiver and they'll try they'll try to win one more championship, so he's, I think. He's cleared out his suite, he sold his home, he's moved out of town. He's done all of that. Philip Rivers has sold his home. He's moved to Florida. Yeah, Both guys Florida. have moved completely out of their long yeah. time home for twenty years. Tom, now all of a sudden, yeah, let's threaten Belichick. I'm just going to move. Like, okay, I'll be right back in the U-Haul next week. I, I, I th- those guys got money. It's not like us moving. It's, like, not, what like, kind of threat it's like? not like us when we got to put we got to put our washing machine on your do. utility trailer. We don't, I have nothing to do with make Giselle no, move, no. move our furniture. Pack your mm-hmm. pack your stuff up, honey. Let's, let's, How many let's, houses does he have? He's with, probably got to have ten houses. Yeah. I mean, what's it matter? Now, now Rivers has moved to Florida. There's openings in maybe possibly Miami and Tampa. Uh, Bruce Arians already said, if I can win with this quarterback, I, I can win with any quarterback. So, is what about Rivers with those weapons in Tampa? I would, I would not. I, I think. I think. I don't know. I watched Rivers this year. He just. He looks like he's done to me. I don't. I don't know if he's got a. Well, he's got to play somewhere. He's playing. Somebody's like Winston still at Tampa. I don't think that. I would move on. There. Why would you move on from from a, a young guy to a really old yeah. guy who might play a year or two? Well, That's you got to be thinking that if you got the talent and you want to win now. Maybe go do that, but you got to have talent around him. And Tampa does have they do. receivers. They do yeah. have people. Terry, down. But I don't. They think were they seven go away and nine. From this, Winston. They were seven and nine this so year. So you gave up on this guy. And Winston. Well, when do you? And when they, do you, but when they got do better. Terry, yeah, Tampa he got threw better. thirty interceptions. If they if they have a guy that throws fifteen, they will they they make the playoffs maybe. But Aries, that was his first year with him. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get more out of you. I'm going to teach you different sure. things that we're going to change this. Or this is not going to be your criteria the rest of your life. So, so today, Tom, for the notes, is has poo pooed Philip Rivers and Googs. So just remember <laughs> where, <laughs> what day Listen. we're in. I don't know where I'm at right <laughs> now, but those two have been poo pooed. I'm, I'm not bringing up Brissett. If I'm Tampa right Bay now. and I'm done with <laughs> Jameis with those weapons, I'm going to get in the one that goes five yeah. and zero with nobody in Teddy Bridgewater. I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going, going to get somebody. Yeah, Bridgewater. Yeah. I think if you're done the, with him, yeah, that that's going to be if somebody's going to pick him up and do well, but. Last time I watched Phillip Rivers, and a lot of times, you know, the good old 4-15 yeah. games, you get to watch the California teams. And uh-huh. I watched Rivers a couple times. What it reminds me of, remember when Peyton Manning, late in his career, just it looked like it was painful for him to throw a football? It looks like old Dan Marino. Yeah, he just, he just, it just looks like it's... Phillip Rivers has thrown like that his whole life. Yeah, yeah but it looks worse now. <laughs> it just looks like... It, it, it looks so... It, it looks, it trust just, me, Tom, uh, watching the quarterback, yeah. you know, when they show him in the offseason, the challenges and warming up, he looks so much better from behind. Like when yeah. you when you watch him from yeah. the side, it looks goofy yeah. as crap. But yeah. he throws darts. It's just his elbows in a way this funky is, position. This is what I said. He's got nine kids. Yeah. Retire, okay. enjoy your kids. All right. I don't understand. So, what about this theory? Cam Newton to the Tennessee Titans. Who says no? Titans, Panthers, I Cam. Mean, it, it could work. Could, could you imagine? Hey, could you imagine the? the That's what I'm the, saying. Him and Henry at the goal line. Could you imagine the read option with with right. Newton and, right. and Henry there? That would be, that would that would be tough to stop, Terry. Where does Tennessee go? Remember, they're a playoff team. They're a good looking destination. They got a good defense, great running game. All of these free agent quarterbacks: Andy Dalton, Jameis Winston, Philip Rivers, Tannehill again, Fitzpatrick, Bridgewater. Oh, come on, Breeze and Pet Prescott are technically free agents too. Uh, both everybody expects them to stay. But, you know, you got all those quarterbacks. Tennessee's going to make – I don't think they're coming back with Tannehill. They're going to do something. Now, you get, look at the draft. You've got possible uh, Tua, Herbert, and Burrow there in the first round. Uh, and then you could make a trade if you really wanted I to. I think Bridgewater needs to go to a team that can win now. I think that would yeah, – That would ruin good. your career. Bridgewater is good enough to take yeah. Yeah. Bridgewater yeah. and Tennessee, yeah. Bridgewater yeah. and Tampa. Yeah. Does Miami tank again and go for Lawrence, or they actually add a quarterback and like Bridgewater and go for the future? He could be one of them, uh, Mike Glenn and Russell Wilson top deals. Where hey, if I don't play, I'm mm-hmm. out of here. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> 
Now, Terry, I was watching the quarterback challenge this morning, uh, or, or the replay of it, and uh, Jarvis Landry, wide receiver for the Browns, uh, yeah. threw better than uh, Lamar, Lamar Jackson. Jackson. So there's you some. I'm sure the Browns folks are tearing up Twitter right now about I, Lamar got was it one point? I lo- I I'm lo- not sure. If if you, wa- I think he ended up with like one, like in the playoff or game. Four. The it play- was the lowest. The playoff game where I watched him. Mm-hmm. I mean, it just looked like every ball was. Ooh. I mean, it just he doesn't throw like you watch Aaron Rodgers throw mm-hmm. a ball. I mean, it looks like it was put out of a, a machine, you mm-hmm. know. But if you watch, like Lamar Jackson, it's like that's not a very pretty pass, you yeah. know. I, I think he he'll get. It's just a second year in the league. Yeah. Maybe he yeah. will. Maybe he won't. Everybody said that about Cam. Yeah. I said I don't know. Uh, you just the more you fall back and rely on the legs as your first option and not your last option. If it's your last option, what made Rogers good, and same thing with Romo. And some of these other guys, and if if it's move, it's not it's moving around, and and they don't have to be accurate and put it on a pinpoint accuracy, because it's when they move around, then the receivers have time to get open. That's the key. If you move around and then throw it instead of moving around and go, um, you know, think about every time your quarterback runs, he gets tackled. Well, who's the most tired after that play? Well, that guy. He's the one that got hit. Your quarterback. Now he gets back to the huddle. Hey, now drop back and throw a pass. Well, what if the line breaks down? Now I got to run away from this guy. This is unplanned. So there's so much extra time running. Every time the quarterback runs, it just adds a little bit. It's good to, to do it sometimes, especially you know a little play fake here and there. Read the defensive end, keep around. It's the all end. about. But 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 you just can just having that as mobile. your top. Yeah, having that just as your top to option mobile. is not not the best thing for for these teams. Throw first, run if you have to. Watch my the other night, Mahomes. They only rushed three. He had he could run all night. Mm. And and a lot of times he just sat back in the pocket and he still waited and waited and waited. The fifty three yard break or you can't go or however that far long. it was that he took off for that touchdown run. Mm-hmm. The whole time he strafed to his left with the ball cocked the whole time, just looking, just waiting. And then when he finally said, "There's nobody I can throw it to," he decided to he's, cut up. He's, he's really fun to watch. Play. He's fun, man. Yeah, he's super fun. To watch fun. Play. He is super fun. I, this was a good question that I heard somebody ask on one of the major networks. They basically asked, is, "Has Mahomes taken over as the face of the NFL?" He's getting close if he hasn't. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, the only argument they had was, well, Tom Brady's still playing, and, and Aaron Rodgers is still playing. And, and I'm thinking, you're talking about last year's MVP and the guy that's now in the Super Bowl in his second, really his second start ever for it, a team. It really amazes me that Brady still wants to play. What else has he, what else has he got to prove? You know, I well, just don't understand what else he's got to prove. Competitors compete. I, I guess, know, but, it's, but, you know, I, I mean, I agree. I can agree with that. It's like what what more does a man who has everything? What more can he want? But but there's other ways you can you can you can move into the front office or coaching or something oh, like yeah. that. I but mean, I don't a, I, I don't mean, know. If, I know he loves well, football, let's, but it's let's one of those things. Up. Does he want to coach? Right. Wait a minute. If you retire from football and you're the star and you made all this money and you're married to a supermodel, mm-hmm. I'm not coaching anything, guys. I'm done. <laughs> football yeah, is yeah, the yeah. past. Yeah, this I is my life well, now. Yeah, you're right. My family and my supermodel See, wife. I, well, he for at good least coaching. If, if he he Tom's wanted, not coaching. That's I what think. I don't understand about guy. Well, like he's River, just going to play. Rivers this is hasn't it. won a Super this Bowl yet, it. so I can understand why he wants to. Like John Elway when mm-hmm. he got him when he was uh, you know late in his career, but somebody like Brady mm-hmm. who's got what, six. five six, six, six and three. Six. Why? I mean, it's just you, you've done everything. You got plenty of money. Your wife made plenty of money. You got he's got a few kids. I want, what else you I want you to think about that. He's six and three, and he lost really those three Super Bowls within like maybe a ten point margin, like yeah. each Super Bowl. Because he could be nine and zero. Oh. He could also be zero oh and nine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you a lot of games are close. I mean, it's just one of those. It's one of those things where. You know, given the guy's age and what he's done, I don't. I don't. There, there's guys that have not got there and and want to get there before oh, they I retire. So I, I, I would, would understand. Not, yeah, it would not hurt. I wouldn't him. lose sleep over if he retired. No, I, to me, I think it would be happy. I'm one of the few guys because I hate when people say it on other media outlets. They're like, "Oh, uh, uh, the NFL is better when Drew Brees is playing and when." When Philip Rivers is playing, when Ben Roethlisberger is playing, when Tom Brady is playing, the, the older guys. I'm like, what do you mean it's better? They hardly can move around in the pocket. They just throw little dink passes now. You mean to tell me the NFL is better with these old guys playing than if you're trying to see who the next up-and-comer is? Well, no, Brees can still move around pretty good. I'm, yeah, yeah Brees is still pretty good. Brees can still Okay, well, around. Drew. 
Yeah. Other than that, you're talking about the refrigerator and Ben Roethlisberger. I just I've the never, mini fridge yeah. and Philip Rivers because he can barely move now, yeah. and then Tom Brady, who's just a walking statue. Yeah. All right, Tommy. Here's the big argument of the week: is is Eli Manning a Hall of Famer? Well, he won two Super Bowls and he beat Tom Brady twice. So if you beat the quote unquote goat twice in the Super right. Bowl, then yes, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Just because he's not he's not like that big personality like his brother. Like sometimes a per, like you're the larger right. life personality is going to help promote you and get we, you in the. We hall talked about this yesterday. Is that it help or hurt Manning to be a Manning Eli? It is, helps. Is, well, it definitely helps. Well, it, it some say it could hurt because, as far as the Hall of Fame vote is that you're measuring up to Peyton. If you say Peyton is a Hall of Famer, then some people would say, well, Eli's not because he's not as good as him. So is is there that that's the argument with that is. Is it could hurt in that sense, uh, or it could help b- be in a Manning. But you know, it, 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 he's five hundred record, right? It, it is his uh, it is his all timer. It's like one seventy one and one seventy one. Um, he has three interception titles, so that's the people that are against him. People for him say two Super Bowls. He actually has more Super Bowl MVPs than his brother. His brother only won one. He won two. Uh, and then he knocked off like what you said, which I'll throw in the argument for him of being in the Hall of Fame is, yeah, if you're going to tell me Tom Brady is the goat, what about the guy that beat him, beat him twice with that? The goat killer. The goat killer. Here's me: if you don't killer. have the statistics, mm-hmm. the championships matter. You know what you I mean? Like, maybe hardware. the guy doesn't have the strongest statistics, so, but look at the championships. It's right? the Hall of Fame, not the not the Hall of most championships or the Hall of. See, but championships Hall of make most, you. Most not, y'all. championships yeah, Hall of wins. give you the fame. Now he finished seventh in touchdowns and seventh in yards too. So yeah, he's got, like that. He's he's got the stats. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the Super Bowl wins. What he doesn't have is the regular season uh, success. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he played on some bad teams. Right. I mean, you know, he play, he's played on some bad teams. Sixteen so I, years, seven win, seven winning seasons. Five of them were double digit win seasons. You win two Super Bowls over the goat. And the dynasty, You're in. I don't the care. dynasty, You're the in. Patriots. Look to me, I've said it. it to me, he's he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Uh, but and like, I'm not going to be really upset if they don't vote him in. But I will be kind of like really. I'll look at him kind of like went in my eyes. Like, do you, did you really not vote in Eli Manning? Well, like, I'm not. I'm not super hurt, and I'm not going to lose sleep about it, and I'm not going to cry about it. But I'm sitting here. I'm like, really. And Kevin says. Well, being a man, he hurts, but it's like, okay, well, I'm a Kennedy. That hurts me for running for senator. No, no, actually, <laughs> no. That, that helps you. Yeah. You know, I, I just na- disagree with the that. The last name. Yeah, yeah. Ask, ask, Ted, <laughs> ask Ted. It don't hurt him too much. <laughs> hey, Ted killed somebody uh, yeah. and got elected. Yeah. You know what I mean? He he literally, he killed a girl and got yeah, elected. There's so, a lot of people that, yeah. So, I mean, it's just Bush, one of those things. They can't say the last name Bush hasn't helped in politics. Yeah, I so, mean, you know. His, now it does, because it's one of those things I hear him say all the time. It's, it's like royalty well, well, that's but, but, the, yeah. but the, Even though Archie yeah. really wasn't that great, but yeah. Peyton was great. Well, Archie went to a really, really bad team. Yeah, Saints were all yeah, they were <laughs> so, really I mean, bad. it's one of those things. Archie was a, Archie was a college phenom. Ole Miss, and then came Wanted out. to go and play where he was from, mm-hmm. and, you know, I, I understand that, you know. Uh, with a bat, boy, right. really bad. Here, here's yeah. Eli's career starting at the first. Here's Eli's career first starting at the first. Ready? No playoffs. Uh, one and done. One and done. Super Bowl. One and done. No playoffs. No playoffs. Super Bowl. No playoffs. No playoffs. No playoffs. No playoffs. One and done. No playoffs. No playoffs. So the last seven years he was one and done once, and they I just haven't had good teams. Times. They just have not had good teams. It's too bad he didn't get Barkley a little earlier. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's it's too yeah. bad, but it is yeah. what it is. I say he's still in. I say you you, you got to put him in. You, you can't think, you uh, can't get a, you can't keep a guy with two Super Bowl MVPs out of the hall. Well, look, thing. even if you want to bring up statistics, they're always like, "Well, he doesn't have the stats." Technically, he does. Just don't look at the interception column. <laughs> well, you have to look at the interception <laughs> column. You have just, to do that. Just don't look at the interception <laughs> column. You okay? have to. You do just that. told us keep James and Winston. But now and we got, he was he legit, now we got many guys, the and how many guys can say when they retired their perfect five hundred win loss record? He's one seventeen and one seventeen. I thought it was one seventy one, one seventy one. We played a lot of games. Yeah, I might have been dyslexic. Think, I might, yeah, think say, about his durability. He wasn't hurt very much in his career. Mm-hmm. He's very no. He has man. the record for most com- most complete games. Mm-hmm. Uh, Iron Man. Yeah, most complete games in a row. Um, we, we're taking uh, calls today. Uh, guest Terry's NC State 
Mount Rushmore. That's four best NC State basketball players in history. We give you one, David Thompson. See if you can name the other three. The winner, uh, get whoever gets the most right, call in 704-435-2844. We'll win some Charlotte Hornets uh, tickets coming up this week. Um, talking a little bit right now, some um, – some football and, and whatnot. Yeah, I want to ask Tom. Tom, are you excited for the XFL? Because, uh, well, see, it's not it's not like uh, the joke that it was the first time with wrestling. I really mixed it. Yeah, it's it's it, more of like a it's trying to be fo- a football league. See, I remember 20 years ago when it came out, I remember watching it. And I'm like, man, like, <laughs> they got he hate me on the back of his shirt and all that kind of silly <laughs> stuff. It was I awesome. Just, I know well, it wasn't. It was not awesome. If you're a WWE no. fan, you love it. <laughs> It if you're a, if you're anything Vince McMahon touches, you're you're a fan. Yeah. Why, why why is that a problem, Tom? He hate me on the back because instead it's, of Cinephon, it's, it's a, a professional. Tradition. It's, it's a tradi- professional. Tradition. It's a professional football game owned by a WWE. This ain't the owned NFL. Owned by an entertainer. This you're ain't still the NFL. A professional football oh, player. Goodness. Act like act like oh. a professional. Yeah, and, but okay. And but, they hate but this him. time around, would you give it another shot? I'm gonna watch it. I mean. It's, I'm gonna tell you the AAF. I remember I went to my mom's house and yeah. she had it on. It was in the springtime. I'm like, this is pretty cool. I enjoyed it's it. It's spring football, and the fans were into it. It was in Texas, I think El Paso or something. Yeah, I mean uh, they just we're, they just didn't have the funding. Yeah, but. we were, we were, or maybe it was San Antonio or somewhere like that. So I had a team. I was like, man, this is this is pretty cool. It's football. And then two weeks later, we canceled the league. <laughs> yeah, they 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 <laughs> like, ran what? out of funding, but this time they have a li- they have a, a better backer in them in McMahon. Well, there's a lot of zeros at the end of his bank account. A so lot I, of zeros. Yeah, so he'll be able to uh, yeah. he'll be able to keep. I I I would I don't see why we couldn't keep a spring football league. It should I mean, be the, hard if you didn't if if you didn't. Because this some, is what I tell people. It's like. I don't see why, because, you know, Terry once at one time, I remember Terry said, I know I'm not just picking on him because he's not here, but he did say, he's like, I don't want to watch football in spring. But then I looked at him and said, so you mean to tell me you wouldn't go to NC State and watch a spring football game? You wouldn't watch your offense play against your defense instead of it being just, you know, another team versus another team. You you wouldn't go and watch spring football. They have spring practice, spring games. I, I I don't see where the problem is. Yeah, and it's spring. I mean, you still have the NBA in the, in, in the playoffs yeah. and everything going on in the spring. And then you, if you're a hockey guy, the hockey stuff's going on in, in the spring. And then you have and it's on, and it's not baseball. like you won't be able to find it. It's on Fox Sports. Fox right. will be the one that's covering it. It'll but, be only once a week. Listen. You know, only one game a week. Yeah. Uh, so, so I mean, it's just one of those things where ten, ten games. It goes. It runs I from think February eighth to April. Yeah, I think it can improve the game as far as quarterback play. Um, we have these guys that so. You know, you got backup quarterbacks at every school, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, some of them could play at different other schools and start, um, but they never get. Some of them never get a chance to play at all. So you never know what they are, what they can do. I, if you don't have these leagues where you get a chance to to grow, some people don't grow till they're twenty two years old, twenty twenty one years old. Put on a lot of muscle uh, until then. Um, and, and the NFL spots, you got fifty three on the roster, forty five on game day. Most teams only keep two days. You remember the days your teams used to have three quarterbacks, right? Teams, every team had three quarterbacks, and mm-hmm. you had time to develop these quarterbacks. You'd have Phil Simms and Jeff Hostetler. Cowboys picked back-to-back number one quarterbacks, Steve Walsh and Troy Aitman. Okay, it, the teams used to do that all the time. Pick whatever the best player is. If you got more quarterbacks, fine. Uh, Montana and Young ended up together. Uh, and then uh, Hunter's talking about here in later years, you know, with, with Favre and Rodgers kind of did that. And then, you know, so it, I think it can improve – Quarterback play in someone uh, to you know you, you, these coaches obviously at the college level are more concerned with winning football games than they are developing the quarterbacks for for the, you know they'll run. I, their, I still you know, I still I still don't understand the NFL's rule. You can have fifty three guys but only dress forty six. I don't understand it. Yeah, I don't. Know. I don't understand it. it I mean, what's guys. the purpose of that rule? Yeah. I don't get it. I mean, because. You hear that healthy scratch thing. Well, he was a healthy scratch. Mm-hmm. Nah. Well, that means he's one of the seven. And then players. other teams are hiring yeah. the, the, the 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 subway sandwich maker or the or the yeah. Kurt Warner out of the out of the uh, aisle at, yeah. at, at food line yeah. over here. I just I don't. I, I don't think get uh, it. I don't to get what it. I like about the XFL idea so much is that you know we talk about how if baseball can have a minor league system and the NBA technically has the G League, right? Why does football only have to pull from college football? Why can't? Because we have what three? We have three whole subdivisions underneath the MLB: Single A, Double A, Triple A, and that mm-hmm. doesn't even and count some probably some other leagues. But so but, I don't see why football couldn't do it. They they make the money. It's football. 
But I think that because of the shelf life is a little shorter, then you're not going to spend three or four years as a running back in a developmental league because that's basically your prime years. So I, I mean, as a lot, quarterbacks have a little I bit longer. I think what I like you know. about it the most though is that say it is a guy because I know Landry Jones was going to be one of the quarterbacks for for the uh, the Renegades in the XFL. Cardell was, Jones is going to Cardell play. Jones yeah. is there, but. But Bob Stoops is the coach of the Renegades, so that's the Oklahoma connection. But Landry Jones was a backup for Ben Roethlisberger for a few years. Well, so he's had some NFL experience, just it didn't pan out for him because he never got the op- – he's playing behind Ben Roethlisberger. He, like, might, he might be able to go back to Pittsburgh now. Yeah, now, <laughs> yeah, that's the <laughs> question. But, but see, good. that's what I'm saying is like yeah. that's what I like about it. It's these guys that maybe made the NFL roster but got cut. I know they picked up Isaiah Callaway, who was the wide receiver for the Browns for a little while. Yeah, He's yeah. now in the XFL. So they've got their guys that it's like a second chance. You know, that, that Netflix thing was second chance to you. Right. They, they went to basically play Juco, and then they went and got right. their scholarship. They went right. and played uh, football at, at a big university. That's what I, it feels like to me. Uh, it just feels like a second chance for guys that maybe don't get drafted but are good enough to just – maybe develop a little bit more, or guys that get drafted and just don't make it past training camp. I think there's plenty of guys that will go to college, second string behind somebody, mm-hmm. and end up, could could go on and develop and play with these leagues. I I'd, I'd, I'd graduate, if I was the backup, yeah. and I'm like behind Jalen Hurts, right. or someone they're not going to play me, I'm like, look guys, I'm going to graduate early, and then I'm going to go play in the XFL, well, here's the or, thing. or whatever. This was the it's fun just, thing, me Joe and Burrow's, Kevin looked Joe up. Burrow said, whoever wants to pay me, yeah. To play football, I'll play. That's for. what he said. Uh, yeah, but Oliver Luck is the commissioner of the XFL. He's over it. It's Andrew Luck's father. Yeah, okay. He came out and said that he's not against taking kids out of high school. Yep. Yeah. They're, they're, they're ta- they'll take anybody. Because as of yeah. as of right now, there is no set in stone like the mandate in the NFL. You got to go three years of college. There isn't for the right. XFL. Hey, so if, they, the if, if, they got to, if Jadavion Clowney didn't want to go to South Carolina, he could have just went to the XFL. Right. I think you'll and see made more. Fifty thousand. I think right. you'll see more running backs go to the XFL. Actually, Tom, because yeah. why not get paid to in to, to, you know, if I get paid, be smart. If I hire an agent, mm-hmm. I can get paid. Talk to the agent. Put away this much money. I can go back to community college if this doesn't work out. But I'm taking that chance as a running back. Go out to, if he go if a running back goes out there, what about Claret? Say Claret would have went XFL early on, he would have got drafted. Right. Yeah. So there's running backs in certain situations. I think that especially in during the, if you get into it with the NCAA, you're just like yeah. whatever. And see, that's what I that's one thing too that I to me the XFL is I don't think it's going to take talent away from college because yeah. the whole thing is if you want to go to college in general, you're going to go. Right. All right so know, it, so, so I think college is still going to get their premier players. They're still going to get that talent because. A lot of kids are going to be like, "Yeah, I'd love to win what a national say, what championship." Did say the if price, I have, if I what did y'all say the salaries were? It was uh, but low side fifty. The highest would be only like two hundred and fifty thousand. Right. But that so, would probably be quarterback. So does those salaries and the way they pay them players? Does that actually start to draw out? Why is it not hitting on the screen up there? Did I hit? Or is it? Or is it? A, yeah, there. I am. Uh, will yeah. that start to draw out some of this? How much are these schools paying some of these players under the table thing? NC State has been filed under an investigation, FBI, mm-hmm. uh, under this Las Vegas, th- this Sting operation. They're one of the schools. In that, in that investigation, one of the guys was specifically implicating Clemson in mm-hmm. what they do down yeah. there. So, wh- at, you know, this is going to go to deeper parts to where some of these guys you're going to say. That's when you need to start looking at it. Who's paying what? When you see some guys that are supposed to be recruited, like, hey, I'm going to go to the XFL for a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Well, why? Like, if why would you turn down two hundred thousand a year mm-hmm. to go play at college? As opposed, I can understand maybe you get into the fifty thousand. You got some insurance policy. I don't know. There's different see, different it, reasons for what everybody. What I like about you know. it too is the XFL. You know, like you're getting paid, and it's it's a it's a good like it would be fifty thousand is a great starter job for somebody yeah. if that's just what you for some people that's w- exactly what they would hope to make in life so go out there and play football and then you can still pay for online classes if you if you don't want to yeah. go to college you can get go to community college and get the same degree right. just I I think it's smart it has a lot of the reason why I think it's smart is it opens up a lot of opportunities if they do it right. If they don't turn it into a circus show. Like it was last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If they just try and make it a legitimate professional football league. Yeah, I yeah. don't care if it's semi-pro or what. A couple different rules. Professional league. Right. One foot in bounds are going to do the college rule for that. Uh, no extra points. 
Uh, yeah, you're, it's it's intramural style extra points where you yeah. go one, two, and three points. Um, key, and then, the key is to try and eliminate downtime and to keep scoring. Right. And right, the right. and the double pass. Have you seen that? One? Double forward I, pass. Oh. But the first we pass, call that Carolina ball. But, well, no, but the first <laughs> pass has to be behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah. So you can't throw like a ten yard hook and that guy just turn around and throw a pass. So it makes where bubble screens can become really. Who you're saying? Flea flickers. I could throw of. a slant. Ten yard slant guy no, catches no, it. No, he, he can pick it, throw no. it. He can't do it. Okay. Uh-huh. Behind, behind the line, line of scrimmage. Of scrimmage. Okay. Yeah. Has to be a little behind the line of scrimmage. But so, instead yeah. of you having to like, you can do a shovel pitch pass it. flea uh, flicker. Okay. Yeah. The guy comes running. in front of you and you're just okay. like this, and he's running and can throw. Right. It. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And I think that it also it keeps the referees from worrying about did that ball go backwards or not down the line, yeah. forward backwards. Mm-hmm. Um, so Which I I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, there's not that many options. I think the NFL could implement that because if it can't go past. If you still can't go past the line of scrimmage, then, I mean, essentially, it's... You're not doing too much. Now, technically, it doesn't even have to go backward. It has to just be lateral. Right. Right. So, just I mean, as long that, as it's behind the line of scrimmage, yeah. you can throw two passes. Back. Right. And what I was saying is, like, if you're an offensive coordinator and you're creative, you got to love that because you yeah. can have a bubble screen set up for your forward pass and still have the running back run over there behind the wide receiver that got it, and you have your lateral. Right. And yeah. then there's your second forward pass. Dude, well, put in your application, dude. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you, <laughs> put in your application. But see, I'm not good with the offensive line, who they need to block and whatnot. <laughs> but that's everything why, else, why. everything else, if it's a skill player, we got this. Now, that's what you hire an offensive line coach for. You say, "All right, coach, that's what I want to do. Block it up." What, what was the guy He'll that was on Hard Knocks for the for the uh, offensive lineman? Was it Wiley? The line, Same the like, offense, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wiley's got the big yeah. old gut, yeah. and he go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and his gut would just bounce up and about hit him in the face. Yeah, Tom, my character. Tom, my theory about point guards leading the team in scoring the Blazers this week: Damian Lillard, forty-seven, sixty-one, thirty-four, and thirty-four, one and three overall. Um, let's see. Then my, how about this? The Detroit Tigers have selected more starting Super Bowl quarterbacks than the Detroit Lions. They picked Ooh. Patrick Mahomes. So the Detroit Tigers have selected more Super Bowl starting quarterbacks than the Detroit Lions have in the NFL draft. There's your NFL stat of the oh week. Oh my God! Uh, <laughs> hey, but it's that's a neat little stat. Detroit Tigers, good job there, guys. Patrick Mahomes, here's you get for you guys betting in the Super Bowl. Thirty five starts for the Chief. He's lost eight times. None of them by more than seven points. I guess we we'll do Super Bowl predictions next week. Right? Okay. Uh, do you want you got your Pro Bowl predictions? I I just don't. But you know my in my daughter or five years ago <laughs> I remember because it came up because because yeah. I, I somehow put it on social media but yeah Anna said Dad this isn't football because they basically just and I understand it's quick playing. whistle and I understand hurt. I I understand but it's just not enjoyable I mean I just I wish they would just do the skills competition just forget I listened, forget it I listened forget to it. a podcast with Von Miller this week and they were talking to him about coming up for the Pro Bowl and he said look man I only know one motor. He said, when I first got to the Pro Bowl and I actually started to play hard, I had a couple people that walked over to me and were like, hey, man, you got to tone this down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because they basically grab the running back yeah. and they blow the whistle. Yeah, and I, because, I don't blame them. And, and, and Von Miller was like, and I understand now because, you know, they got you, you, it's stars out here. You ain't going to go out there and end your career for yeah. a Pro Bowl. No. I mean, it's, no. just, it's just dumb. I, I, You've I, already, I, no. Uh-uh. And I understand, like, I, I don't complain. You got like, your bonus already. Oh, why don't you play harder? You're a millionaire. I'm like, no, 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 no. Your body's your capital. You can't go out there like an idiot Mm-mm. and hey. and hurt yourself in a Pro Bowl game. That's, That's your money maker. Yeah. If there's a hunt, let's see. How many people make the Pro Bowl roster? 90? Something like that. I guess. If, it, if they keep it the same as uh, both teams, what is it, 53, and then they cut it down to 47, 46? I would just. I would just say let's do a little skills competition and let's let's call it a day. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't mess with it any. Dabo Sweeney by himself could play the po- pay the Pro Bowlers one hundred and five thousand dollars each. So uh, if he, if you want to if you want to know where the money is, you can get that in South Carolina. If you want to know why your child can't get a scholarship, that's why one hundred and five. <laughs> that's why. Dabo Sweeney could pay the Pro Bowlers himself one hundred and five thousand yeah. dollars. 
uh, a piece. And uh, you will be $120,000 in debt when you graduate college, kids, so just keep that in mind. Right. Remember those tuition dollars are paying your football coach and the push-up coach is probably Welcome making 100 to grand. Welcome to real. That's the bad ones, the push-up coaches. And w- yeah. w- they've got to spend it somewhere, Tom. I, the old joke about the government was, you, you know, you, I guess they're going to have to put, make the toilets sure. toilet out of gold. Sure, you could spend it. Every kid that makes fifteen hundred on the SAT goes to college tuition free. How about that one? There you go. Let's do that one. Well, we were talking the other day about you know if Duke's scholarship is fifty thousand and App's ten thousand, why can't I get a scholarship in forty thousand dollars? That'd be nice. You know, because you got to pay Coach K ten. Shouldn't the NCAA back that up? And and, and, does Coach K's salary have to be published because it's a private university, or how's that? No, that's what I thought. He does not have to be uh, published uh, at all. Um. And, and yeah, because technically he's not even underneath uh, highest paid state employee no. since it's private. Because it's private, right. yeah. He's not. No, uh, I don't even know who that is in the state of North Carolina. Roy Williams. Is it Roy? That's nice. Meh. Just remember, kids, he's going to Carolina, where those tuition the, dollars are going. The highest. I gave him money, Tom. The <laughs> highest paid state employee in, in the state of North Carolina right now is dead last in the ACC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just proves. It just proves. It's like. Uh, there you go. You're talking about like like in schools we talk about proficiency scores, right? right? And if you, if you've got the kids there, the ability you're going to have it. Same like with coaching. If you've got the players, you got. I mean, good mm-hmm. players make a hell of a coach. That's all I'll say. You got the players. It ain't about the X's and O's. I know. Willie's in the Joes. That's what. Not at the NBA and yep. in, 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 I don't think not at the NBA level at all. It's all about who got the players. I think at the NBA level, it's all about who has the players, and more yeah. college wise, it's coaching. I don't care what you're playing. My, I remember Woody Fish told me that if my X's are better than your O's, ain't a whole lot you can do about it. <laughs> and yeah. that was, you know, that just, I he told me that after I lost the game. I'm like, Coach, I just can't. He's like, Tom, it's if just, the X's are better yeah. than your O's, ain't it's a whole just lot one of those things where, it. like, <laughs> that, like that makes a lot of sense. But then, if that was the case, Michigan State shouldn't have beat Duke last year in the in the tournament. Every now and then, yes, I think. Like I was talking yeah. with Coach Harrow, and I was serious when I when I told Coach. I said, if it's yeah. a five point game, mm-hmm. and I watched, uh, you know, uh, Brad Levine in a five point where he was down five points with about thirty seconds to go, he called the right defense, he called mm-hmm. the right play, and he won the game. Yeah. So I mean, it's okay. There's your coaching. Right. But but if you don't have players that are good enough to keep it close, the coach never gets that moment. Yeah. So, gotcha. Yeah. Got to have the players. I and um. JP, let's take a quick break. We'll come back and uh, do Terry's uh, finish up final thoughts and Terry's uh, top uh, Mount Rushmore of NC State basketball players. If you still want to try to win some tickets, 704-435-2844. Name the NC State Mount Rushmore basketball players. We'll be right back on KTC.
That's exactly what we're talking about. We're talking yeah, sports. We're talking sports. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Good morning, JP. Who's doing good in the Australian Open, J, J. Pizzle? See, you got one job here. It's to, it's to answer the phones, hit the buttons, well, and or three jobs, and know about what's going on in the Australian Open. I want you. I, right. I, I got. I got a tip for you, JP. Every week, what I want you to do is, I want a tennis update every week from you. Just a minute or two, okay? All right, Tom. We had some discussion a minute ago about Terry's uh, uh, Hall of Fame uh, or, or Mount Rushmore. Uh, JP uh, is taking those down, but we're going to go ahead and give out to let, let everybody know who Terry had, and, and Tom and I had some disagreements with him. But Terry's the NC State fan, so uh, we we give way to that. Uh, but number, of course, David Thompson was on the list. Uh, my Tom and I both agreed and had on the list. We thought he, we had him on number two on our list, and and, t- and this is the one that Terry doesn't even have at all. It's Terry, folks. If you, your guess was Tom Gugliotta. You missed it. He has a. He doesn't like Italian people. Is that what? I mean, you can probably tell the way he interacts with me. He really doesn't <laughs> like me very much. But he doesn't like Corciani. He doesn't like Del Negro. He doesn't. I mean, like, well, Valvano had a bit of an Italian bias. I guess we can say that. I mean, I, I think after the game they yeah. went to the deli. You know, it was just like that. But um, Googly Out is in the top five of many categories all time NBA. You know, I didn't really. I, I either I didn't know. I forgot. It seems like maybe it's a little hazy. Gugliotta almost died in the late nineties. Yeah, he had a, he had a yeah. health, health issue. Yeah, yeah, he had a health issue, and then came back and still played a few more years. Gugs mm. averaged uh, thirteen seven and five over his career. He was on Dream Team two. Everyone forgets about yeah, Gugliotta was right. on uh, an actual Olympic basketball team, and that was from NBA play. Not not he wasn't college. He wasn't a college player. He wasn't um, the, as lucky as Christian Leitner. Yeah, that one was out. Yeah. It, if Duke doesn't win a second national title, Shaq's the player on that team. And and, and, and as good as Leitner was, uh, he was one of the original outside-inside big men, I right, guess you could say. They right. could go outside and, and shoot some outside shots. And uh, But, yeah, so he's he doesn't have good God, folks. He's got Rodney Monroe, who was on my list. Nate McMillan is who he's got on there. And T.J. Warren. T.J. Warren. Terry's. Man. He can't NC even State. guard Jimmy Butler. This is Terry's NC State, Mount Rushmore, the four best players, and according to Terry, David Thompson, Rodney Monroe, Nate McMillan, and T.J. Warren. If you're asking me, I wouldn't have McMillan and Warren on there. I do love Rodney Monroe. Uh, I would have had Gugliotta. I'll debate the fourth spot with McMillan. Uh, and, I mean, he did play in the NBA for quite a bit. But I thought... You know, and Terry didn't like him. He said he's a showboat, but it was it was him by himself his whole career. How about Julius Hodge, who I thought uh, right. might might could be on there? He he got a vote for me. Hodge, you know, he was just one hundred percent almost by himself for four years, and and he, he pulled off some upsets and, and did a good job. There, Chris Corciani, I think, was uh, the leader in assist or second assist at some point uh, all time. Uh, my my internet's went down. I can't look up my fun stats today. I, we did get some. Tell you what, guys, I got two comments this week. From us uh, from about our shows, about how good we were doing. One on the podcast, yeah, and one on Saturday. So they were enjoying it. So at least our comment, our good comments, Tom, are up two hundred percent. Yeah, right. Good comments. Our good we, comments we get, are up two hundred. We get plenty. No, no more of that. Like when I'm doing the Hunter and I are doing the game. These broadcasters suck comments. <laughs> yeah. How about yeah. that? How yeah. about that, Hunter? Yeah. We got we got Ooh. some. We got a mean tweet there. <laughs> I'm gonna be really <laughs> mad. Shut <laughs> down the comments. I don't want to have open discussion. That really hurt my feelings, Hunter. Yeah, haters. I lost a lot of sleep. I lost a lot of sleep. I lost I, a I, lot I, of I, sleep. I had to double up on the Nyquil that night. <laughs> my word. I I almost went through a box of tissues. <laughs> so Tom, you agree with me on the googly eye thing? Too much ice cream. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, I know. Googly I know. Eye. Hunter, did you? You're not old enough to see Julius Hodge, even are you? Who says I even pay attention to NC State basketball? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you now that Terry's not here. It was, I watched the NC State game because I do this show. <laughs> like I always try to watch yeah. at least two or three games during the week. Yeah. It, like Friday night, I like to watch the NBA. Like I'll watch the whole thing, but now I haven't been able to because I'm either working with Kevin or I'm working a Burns game. Mm-hmm. But I, I, you know, I like to watch that. I like to show what's going on, learn about what's going on. I like to watch a college game or two. Yeah. But that was painful, painful <laughs> to watch a team not score for ten minutes and still win. Mm-hmm. I can't. I mean, it was, it's just, it was like, this is worse than watching a church ball game between where half the players are drunk. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's horrible. 
And, it's, and you know that's true, Hunter. You laugh because it's yes, true. What's, I know. You know. what's weird to me about it all is that the depth, you know, they talk about the one and dones and all and everybody, you know, but when you look at the math kind of really, it's not, it hasn't changed that much to the same guys. So the one and dones, they would have went to the NBA anyway. And none of the other teams, it's not like there's a bunch, there's like 50 one and done guys. There's five to 10 really that, that would be then in the top first round. So it, what I'm saying is that none of these teams like are, are depth wise, like where's Carolina's depth and where's these other teams depth. And, and you know, you're talking about NC state. None. Shouldn't those second tier teams, if they're not getting the one and dones, they should be getting no, all the B players. They should have a, uh, they should have a roster of Charlotte Hornets B players, basically. And and but and none, a lot of them. It doesn't seem like they they are in, in, in making runs. I thought we'd see more runs from teams actually without the one and dones because the one and dones is just it, it takes up your if the guy don't you don't replace him with the, that guy. Uh, you still got your four starters, you know, year after year after year in yeah. experience. So. All right, guys, that's that's kind of the show for today. Any other comments, suggestions? Next week we'll talk. I'm just Super looking Bowl. forward to Super Bowl predictions. I'm looking forward to next Saturday. You know why I look forward to Saturdays? It's not to see either one of y'all. Yep. It is to get my Mitchum's Kitchen breakfast. Right. I've, I've won, I'm, I'm going to be picking the 49ers in the Super Bowl. Well, Kevin, that's next just, week, just buddy. We just know. said Super just Bowl predictions next week. Look at him. He already hey, said hey, let me say something. I take the team in red. Yeah, that's a great – that's a bold prediction. But, yeah. Well, I mean – yeah, well, I look forward to my sandwich from Mitchum's. All right, podcast uh, Monday. Uh, listen to Hunter and I uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Next week's podcast. Uh, Zach will be joining us on Wednesday. I don't know about Monday or Friday, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, listen to that on Spotify and iTunes. You can watch on Facebook as well and on YouTube. I get to you get those listen on it, posted all up. podcast platforms. So all right, JP, says. we're out of here. Tar Heels coming up next in just a few, little bit on KTC Broadcasting. Uh, JP, you ready? I'm gonna say dot com. You ready? I'm going to say dot .com. You ready? I'm going to say dot .com. You ready? <laughs> KDCBroadcasting.com. I'm going to skip work one.